All right, game, stream, let's find it. Where is it? Oh, it says upcoming. It's not live yet. It should be. Oh, what's happening? Hey, look, we still have a car. We still have a base. Haven't been broken into yet. But I'm still not live for some reason. Um, there it is. I knew it was going to come up. I guess there's lag when I log in. <coughs> Boy, I have a lot of chicken. Let's, um, <laughs> so many pumpkins. Let me get some seeds from one because we got to start the garden again. We need like 500 pumpkins. I need 18. I think there's nine for each plot. Oh, there's a hinge hiding up there. How did I? So I have nine hinges. I must have forgot about that yesterday. If I get one more, I, that's another door I can build. Oh boy. I don't have room for any more pumpkins. So I can confirmed. <coughs> I found out that Friday's the wipe. So I've only got three days after tonight. Wait, is today Tuesday? Well, yeah. Now we're on Wednesday, but I've got basically I've got three full days before the wipe. Actually, I'm wrong. I think they said the wipe is 3 p.m. Friday afternoon. Let me double check. So I actually have only like a day left. Let's see. Livonia chat. No. Where's general server information? No, that's not it. Where's news? Give me news. There it is. It will be Lavoni ends on April 19th at 3 p.m. for me. So yeah, I won't even be able to get on Friday night. So really, I've only got tonight and Thursday. I work, well, I, if I wake up early enough, I could get on Friday before the end. Kind of sucks that they're ending it at 3 p.m. Weird time. Hair won't fit in here. There we go. Let's see. 
I'm gonna go ahead and plant first, I guess. I wanna check the base and see if anyone's fucked with it. Take a peek. Nope, they're already watered. I guess it rained recently. I don't have any fertilizer though. Unless it. Nope. Thought maybe I had some auto stored in there. Okay, let's see what happened to the base. Oh no! Oh. I thought they broke the door. <laughs> I was about to freak out. Nope, no one broke in overnight, so we're still good. still good here <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish building while the pumpkins do their thing oops but I might might uh, go hunt for more teddy bears. <laughs> I have to decide. I think I should build first, though. I need the base to be built. tools are on the other side, damn it. Well, some are there. I gotta kind of figure out. We're gonna have a ceiling here. Which will actually be a floor. Let me throw... I wanna throw this explosive in here. So I can, I want to lay traps when I'm done, but I'm going to wait until the very end for that. Do, 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 do. Should have plenty of supplies for building. What was that? Oh, that's a floor kit. I will build that over there. Oh. See what tools I have. Apparently, I put none in these. Yeah, they're 
in one of the lockers, probably. Oh yeah, pumpkins. There they are. Hatchet. I really only need one of these for digging. Darn it. I think it's too big. Oops. Oh, I've only got two seeds. Sad. Does it need water? Nope. I do, though. So we're going to need a floor here. Oh wait, how am I going to get up there to shoot? I guess I'll have to... I have no idea how I would do that. Because you can't build it from this side. <laughs> you have to build it from the other side, the top. Let me try it. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Why is it not working all of a sudden? Usually you just step up. There we go. Yeah, I have to be on top to build it. How am I supposed to do this? Uh... I'd have to break the half wall and then put it back, I guess. Oh, there's two half walls here. The only other option is break the wall over here, build the floor, and then put it back. I guess that's what I'll do. ground for a second. So they come in, you gotta jump up there and you jump up here, you're gonna have it extend that way and then come back that way, which means I'm gonna need a wall on top there, walls all the way. Now how am I gonna build that wall? I guess I can climb up on the edge somehow. Can I stand on the lamp? Oh, you can. Shit, I had it. There we go. Damn it. 
Oh well, I can put a locker here and stand on the locker. Where did I put that box? I don't think... Oh, I think it was just this one. I'm gonna have to get another one. Or break this down again. Sadly. It's got a code lock too. Oops. Dang it, I messed up. I always do that. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't click remove. Oh, dang it. Let's see. That's going to get messy. Let's move. Oh, it's still messy, but... As long as I can put this here. Okay. Screwdriver. Actually, I have... Yeah, I've got a damaged one. Wait, I could have tried a pallet. I don't think those are tall enough, though, to reach... You have to reach the ceiling. The locker's much taller. Somehow I've got to latch it onto that wall. And to build it, it needs to be the center is going to be like right here. <clears throat> Another thing they're doing for this wipe is whoever collects the most skulls gets some kind of prize or bonus like VIP on the server for a month or something. So people are trying to kill each other <laughs> a lot. Oh, I don't have any planks. Did I put them all in the truck? Or am I gonna have to go get some? I may have to go get some. If I don't have any, I'll either farm them or drive. It'd be a lot faster if I just drive somewhere with planks and get them. Uh, I have 38 left. Oh, there's a pallet. I also forgot about this bag. Jeez. Should probably take it up. We need the sheet metal. I'm going to move this up real quick. just in case although if I get shot outside they could break in and then this will be here so I'll have to keep my eyes peeled outside Oh no. 
I just noticed it's stuck on the loading screen. I've been playing for like 20 minutes. Let me try refreshing that. Let me try again. Okay, I'm back in the game. Let me see if it pops up. No, it did not. Shit. Properties. Capture specific window. Daisy. It's on Daisy. Let me try again. Any full screen application. Oh, now I have to wait till it's... Dang it, it's still not working. Daisy. I need like a refresh button for it. I'm still working on getting it back. I don't know what's happened though. Dang it. I don't know what's been going on lately, but the camera messes up and the game. Oh, it's opening two daisies. Oh my God. What the? Close one of them. I don't know which one's the fake one. <laughs> okay. Damn it. I just closed the other one. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened. Fuck. Where was I standing? I think I might have died. Fucking A. I'm opening the game again, but I'm going to delete this game capture window and redo it once the game's up. I think it might be a problem that's caused by Daisy Launcher. But I'm letting the game get to the server screen before I open. Okay. Let's try this again. New window, display capture, uh, windows, cancel. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I should have done a window capture and it's supposed to be Window, Daisy. Why is Daisy not showing? The game is up. That must be it. So when you, I have to go fully into the game. The launcher I'm on is jacked up for some reason. Hey, Vladimir. Something happened where the game was uh, only displaying this slowed screen and not the actual gameplay. So I'm trying to fix that real quick. It was working earlier, but I don't know what's up. I'm going ahead and getting in the game. Okay, now I'm gonna add the window. I should be able to. Oh, it's not there, okay. 
Suddenly, it doesn't like Daisy. I'll just go back to try and game capture. Specific window. There it is. Let's go back to Daisy then. Okay, now it's working. I just gotta enlarge it or move it down a few layers. There we go. You should be able to see it now. Hopefully you can also hear it. But yeah, so my plan is to go ahead and build the base out. Where did I put that back? Oh good, it's still there. And I'm, I'm working on that, and then I'm going to just loot. Basically, look for teddy bears. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's those, those eight boards I had? I must have dropped them somehow. I bet I clicked. But where was I? <laughs> Oh, there's the teddy bears. Got to put those in the locker with the other one. Wait, where's that third bear I had? It's missing. Oh, well, I'll put them in here for now. I think I had dropped some wood to build when it did. No, it's I see some wood in that gate. I wish I could access that. Oh well. It's not that important. It's like two boards. Oh yeah, but I confirmed 100% for sure the server is wiping on Friday at 3 p.m. my time, at central time. So basically in the afternoon this Friday. I better not say anything to them, they're just going to come shoot me. Oh, that's another thing. There's a skull collecting thing where if you collect the most skulls, you get some kind of server perk. So everyone's trying to kill everyone. I don't know how the allies are, but I'm sure they're kind of like, the ally ship is over now. They haven't said that, but that's what I'm assuming. Okay, I think that's placement. Wait, why can't I place it? It's attached to that wall. Oh, I had it. Shit. <laughs> Come on.
Let me up. I know I can get up there. Oh, it's blocking it probably. Dang it. the middle at right about there there we go hope no one's out there Yeah, once the wipe happens, everyone's going to be scrambling. They're not doing the purge event this time. Last time they had a special ending where you would spawn with certain guns and a mask and you could basically go killing everybody. <laughs> They're not doing that this time, though. Let me see what this looks like closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now I've got to move the locker again. Wait, what else do I need to build? Uh, each of these needs a roof and walls. Same for this side. Bunker runs and raids more than normal. Yeah. They're going to raid all those small, like, starter huts because they know there will be building supplies hoarded. Everyone's going to be scrambling to get a base up. So resources will be scarce. I think I'm going to stick to my usual plan, which is hiding stuff in the woods. But this time, I'm going to stash all my supplies, like, till I have this many nails. And I'm not going to build a base until I have, like, enough to fully build it. Because starting a small little base is pointless. They break in really easy. So there's no reason to build until you have 30 doors worth. In my case, I'm going to have maybe half that, but it should be relatively annoying for them to break in and all they're gonna get is pumpkins and teddy bears I can't wait to troll whoever's dumb enough to raid me all right so let's make another wall I get I need wood I might drive to get lumber because it'll take too long hand trimming the trees and chopping let's see I need a uh, two simple floors and five simple walls on this side I'll do the floors I guess first to get a roof up 
<coughs> Wait. I'm not going to be able to reach it. Hold on a second. Well, I can do... Okay. Those have to come down, actually. Yeah, I just realized. Those half walls. I should do that first. I gotta think about this. Those need to become a wall, and then there's the floors extend that way. That's the final room up there, potentially. The wipe, yeah. The wipe's gonna delete everything. So all the shit that I've worked to get is gone after Friday. Everything. Everything I'm building right now is pointless, basically. I'm just building it. I'm just trolling now. Like That's why I don't I probably shouldn't spend too much time on it cuz it's all gone in 2 days. All right, I'm going to break these down. Oh, I need to sharpen this hatchet. They used to wait like three months before wipe, but for some reason they're wiping it after only two months this time. No one seems to know why. Oh, I forgot I broke that other wall down. Whoops. I think I can lay down. Yes, it worked. I still have to break that wall, though. I just wanted to get this other one. I'm going to extend that way. It's depending on how much materials I have after this. I'm either going to go one or two rooms that way. I can go ahead and put a wall here, though. Unless I want to extend more. Hmm. Nah. I don't think I have enough materials to get that big. I don't want to be too bold. I needed to, I could sit and do the math. Like, the walls are 30 each. Well, everything is 30 each, except the doors that you build with hinges take a whole box, I think. Each door is two hinges, so that's eight doors, or <laughs> four doors, which would require four boxes, so I could just set aside four for the doors. Because the door itself is like 30 or 40, and then the wall is either 30 or 40, I forget, total. So between the door and the wall that the door is on, it's a whole box, basically. Scout for a better base location with an outhouse, water, greenhouse, yeah. That one little town, uh, let me see what it's called. I like it, but I think it gets a lot of foot traffic. This town right here next to the factory, it's got two outhouses, one in the woods and one uh, right next to this house. I That's where that guy has, I was gonna raid that guy that's in the barn right there, but I don't know, I don't have enough resources. Maybe I'll do some raiding. Most likely he's already been raided by now though. 
There's also right here, this area, there's those massive industrial zones that would be kind of nice to build at. They don't have any outhouses there though. I need to figure out where the most outhouses are on the map that are like easy to access. Like Sitnik has a couple, like three, but I wonder how many Nodbor has. No one online seems to have it listed anywhere. I've tried finding it. Oh, I should delete that marker. Did I ever go back? Yeah, I went and got those pallets. Oh yeah, this new base here, I found out who it is. It was enemies of the group I'm in, but they already got raided, I think. No point in worrying about them. All right, let's build this. Nearby industrial and small village. There is, I think there's a town next to the factory by Nod, or not Nodbor. Uh, where's that factory at? There's one close to me. Oh, right there. Oh, it is Nodbor. And then there's this smaller area. I wonder if there's any outhouses here. But there's a huge double industrial zone there. This has military bases, or buildings. I would never build on the factories, though. They're too attractive of a target. But somewhere nearby wouldn't be bad. Especially if it's less traveled. Huta. I don't go over there much. I don't remember what's over there. Might have to check it out. Dang it. I hate this mod for the fact that you have to be in the very middle to build the walls. How are you supposed to do that? I gotta build this, or break this down too. Come on, break it. It won't let me. Let me sharpen this. There it is. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to have to build both of those. The town that starts with a B and ends with an A. What? That's like 20 towns, I'm sure. He's trolling me. Bieloa? That town has a bunch of outhouses? Oh, Brenna. Probably another one, too. Let's see, I'm gonna need... Yeah, I'm going to need this to do it. 
I guess I should have gotten one of those raid ladders when I saw them. They are a little bit more convenient than this. North, middle of map. He's talking about Brenna then. Because Bialawa is over there. So Brenna has a bunch of outhouses. We'll have to check that out. Oh. Next wife, I'm gonna hang around Brenna then. <laughs> Get some nails. one first come on I hate you thank you <laughs> trying to eat at the same time I do this Wait, wasn't there another, uh, huh. I thought I had another wall. Oh, I built it there, duh. Huh. I should go ahead and roof these and finish those walls off. I think I can go ahead and do these floors too. But I need to do them while I'm on top, or I won't be able to finish it. You know what's funny? All this effort to build the base and most of my stashes have been the safest spot for the best loot. Only out of about 15 stashes, I would say only three to four have even ever been found and broken into. That's not bad. So I think Next wipe, now that I have some knowledge from all this, some data, I'm going to do the same thing but much more strategically. I'm going to build a base as a decoy. I think it worked pretty good this time around. The only thing I didn't, I haven't found a solution for is the garage where I store vehicles because that keeps getting broken into.
I guess one solution would be build a storage garage in the woods, but covered in camo net, so you don't see it as easy. That might help. Oh, I had 10 more there. Yep, we gotta do another floor. So we've got three here. If I have enough materials, I want to extend one out that way and maybe one more this way so it's hovering above the ground. Or just up above the ground. Yeah, it would be kind of like an inverted pyramid shape. I remember people used to build those in rust. But it would just extend one more that way and one this way. Or two this way, maybe. On the top floor. Yeah, it would... Technically, that should go one more out and then two more this way. But that's okay. I'll just... Leave those off. It's such an interesting way that I used that weird crappy roof in there as a step up. It's janky, but it also kind of works, so I'll take it. <laughs> They're going to be able to get in really easy now if I don't finish this off. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself here. Now I have to finish this side. Oh, I know what I could do. There will be a room there. If it extends one that way, that's it'll hook around and the final room will actually be above that room. Oh wait, no, I can't do that, shit. Because that would cause them to have to crawl right there. I can't make anyone have to crawl with loot. So I can't build a room there, that's gotta remain open. Above, like up above it. That sucks. Yeah. 
I could do a half half walls and a ceiling so it's like a step down as long as they can as long as it's above their head yeah it would be right there that's what I'll do because that's cheaper on the resources oops but before I go get more loot, I have to finish this side, or they'll be able to jump in. These are uneven. So is the wall. All right, let's see. I need more wood. That was the issue. I forgot. Saw. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need the backpack, too. Sharpening stones. How many do I have? Oh, I've got plenty. Well, we're going to eat these up pretty quickly. That one. my little babies uh oh they got bugs on them wait I have infectant disinfectant for that where did I put it I know I found some and I picked it up because I knew I would have bug problems where did I put it I swear I have a bottle oh this is where that other locker went yeah, because the car stuff's in it. Oh, there's the other teddy bear. I guess I didn't take the disinfectant. I thought I did. Oh well. I'll just have bugs. Oh. I get trees. Oh no, where's the bag at? Dang it. I don't know where I left it. There it is. How am I going to fit it though? <laughs> Gotta collect bears. We need more bears. Forget that. I'll just throw these in the pallet or something. It's starting to look like an actual base. Oops. Forgot to shut that. No!
Oh, I forgot I set up hotkeys. That Donald guy. That's who I traded with yesterday for all the nails. He's trying to get two Articunos. He's trying to get three Pokemon full sets. If you get three, you get special, like super special perks. I didn't know they had a tier system. I thought you just got the same perk no matter how many decks you build. But no, you get something for three. Yeah, they will. You have to, um, somehow you turn them in or show them to an admin and they, once they confirm you had either one full set or two or three, they then give you the perks. It's on a, I think it's like a month long thing. You get the perks. For one set of cards, you get like, you spawn with a knife that's got the Pokemon logo or Pikachu on it, I think. And then there's some other Discord perks. And I think you get VIP, which is normally a paid subscription thing, so you get that for free. Just little perks like that. They have some other things on their server, like custom flags and custom bayonets. And you can, you win those, I think, if you do the Pokemon decks, like more than one. I'd have to look at their rule thing, but. Let's see, I need one more harvest. Isn't there an Easter egg hidden in some of the chimneys? Like you look down the top and there's a Santa or something. I feel like I've seen the picture like that. Yeah. I think a three month wipe is okay because that's like one fourth of a year. So it's seasonal, but doing a wipe every two months, that's too frequent. They last time they did three months. That's how I found the server was during the winter wipe. I think if I'm correct. And then when they transitioned to this season, summer season or spring or whatever, they, where normally they would do three months, but for some reason they're cutting it off at just two. Two or maybe two and a half. I don't know how they determine when they wipe. Wipe the server yourself. <laughs> just kill everyone. I'm guessing they choose when to wipe based on structures, like how busy the, like if there's too much shit on the server, 
they have, you know, they just get rid of it basically. I don't really know though. One thing that I thought was annoying, but it makes sense, is that VIPs know ahead of time. Like the VIPs knew a few days ago when the wipe was, but the regulars only just found out today officially. But I guess they kind of have to give you some kind of incentive to be a VIP. So they have to make it like, oh, well, if you're not VIP, you you don't know all the stuff like that. But either way, it's I'm not going to pay $30 a month or whatever for a Daisy server. Not until I'm working and have disposable income again. <laughs> I'm poor right now. It seems like everything these days, at least in America, every company and every group or service tries to make it a subscription because that's the only way to have for them to have a steady stream of income. It's like, oh, you like waffles? Well, here's our new waffle service that you pay $30 a month for and we deliver hot waffles to you every morning. <laughs> it's like, bro, I can make waffles at home. But everything's a service now, no matter what it is. Oh, you want to flush your toilet? Pay $30 a month and your toilet will flush. <laughs> well, I guess that's what sewage fees are. I literally, I literally pay money for my toilet to flush. I mean, it's a service. It makes sense. But still, there th there's some things that don't need to be services that are. <laughs> All right, we need another ceiling or floor now how the hell am i going to reach that one if i can't i can't um let me think oh that's right i'm doing half walls so we need two half walls first You can buy a professional gaming server for 35 a month. The same one Northman uses. So they are potentially paying 35 a month for a server that they are then selling service to other players to for like 10 or 20 a month, I think. <laughs> That's insane. We can actually see what the prices are. I think I can bring them up in game after I build this. Shit, that makes me want to just invest in a server and start selling it to people. <laughs> I can play games all day and get paid monthly for it. You just, you got to know how to market your server. Because the way they market this one, it does make it appealing. Yeah, they're charging for, yeah, they're definitely making a profit. 40 slots is 35. Let me see what their prices are. VIP. Also, their admins are working for free. So they're, they're actually getting free labor from the admins. The admins just get, you know, VIP stuff in the server, but psh, that's that's free for the guy hosting it. Uh, priority queuing. They don't say the price, though. You get player stats. You get a VIP role in the Discord. Giveaways. Yeah, you get custom knives, but you actually have to purchase those. So even if you're VIP and you want custom gear, you still have to pay for that separately. So you don't even get it when it's part of VIP. Let's see what... Oh, I had to exit the game. Shit. It brings up the browser. Three months priority. $41. Uh, one month VIP is 15 So the cheapest, if you buy one month, it's $15. American dollars. 
if you get three months, you save like four bucks, basically. <laughs> you can pay $13 for a custom bayonet. $18 for a custom clan tag? That's a lot of money for just a colorful tag. Uh, bayonets are nine dollars. Those are not. Those are like custom ones they make. They're colorful looking. I mean, they look cool, but custom armbands are like thirteen dollars, thirteen sixty nine. Custom flags are thirteen. No, those are those are one time purchases. Those aren't monthly, so it's like. You can pay once and have your own custom flag. I mean, for me, a custom flag would be fun at my base. Like, especially if you're streaming, I could have my logo, you know, my stream name there. That would be entertaining, I guess. But yeah, other than the flag, I don't know that I would do anything else. Maybe an armband. But yeah, okay, it's it's interesting stuff, but it's all very expensive. Like, you would have to be seriously into this game and this server to pay as much as it would cost to do all of that. That would all be like $100. <laughs> if you bought like three months of VIP, the flag, the armband, the bayonets. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Four friends split the, oh, split the bill, yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, but what I was wondering is how many VIPs do they have um, on, the, on this server? Because I wanted to do the math and see how much they're making versus how much they're paying. Let's say they have 10 VIPs. They're charging basically 15 a month. So that'd be 150 a month profit. I know they have more than 10 because they run multiple servers, but let's just say it's one server. They're paying $35 a month, but they're making about 150, just guessing. So they're still profiting a decent amount. And on top of that, they actually have multiple servers. So they've got, you know, I think about five. They have three US and three Europe or something. I'd have to look. They don't have all the maps for both countries. Like certain ones only have one or two maps. Let's see. I think they have it on here. Oh, they don't show all of them. They're only showing, I'm only able to see the US. But for US, they have Charneris, Livonia, and Deer Isle. I think the UK, they have those plus Altaria or whatever that new map is. Alternia. But yeah, so let's say that's about six to seven servers. If they're making 150 minus 35, so 115? Or is it 120? No, 115 times six or seven. That's a lot of money a month. I mean, you're not going to be able to quit your day job, but it's enough money. It's like, like if I made that much a month, I would, I'd be able to survive just doing Uber on the side and adding it to that. <laughs> but it is a lot of hassle to deal with um, complaining players and admins abusing their powers and shit. It's a lot of bullshit that you have to deal with. But you also get to play your favorite game as part of your job, so... You know, it's not the worst gig in the world. Another half wall. Oh wait, where's the wood? Oh, my pumpkins are ready. 
I bet the ones downstairs are already rotting then. Because I planted these much later. <laughs> In streaming. Yes, I have 10 Ferraris. You know what kind of Ferraris? They're little Hot Wheels cars, like the little figurine cars. That's the kind of Ferrari I own. <laughs> Some streamers do make that kind of money. I I almost get sick to my stomach when I see those guys. Like uh, Moist Critical or Penguins. He goes by different names. That dude, he literally just gets on every day. And find some video of a dude being a douchebag and then talk shit about it for 15 minutes and that's his work for the day. It'll get like 15 million views. That's his rent for the, the year, basically. One of those videos. <laughs> I just wish... If I even made one-tenth of that, my life would be a piece of cake. Like, there would be nothing to worry about. It's just crazy that some kid will get on TikTok and do some really stupid bullshit and they actually make a living from it and I'm over here struggling. <laughs> it makes me want to go on a murder spree. A TikTok murder spree. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how much those mobile games pay for promo if you're a big streamer. I guess I need to get big. I can start promoting Raid Legends. What is it? <laughs> What's that stupid mobile game people are always talking about? Raid Shadow Legends or something? <laughs> I might be able to reach that with a pallet, actually. Let's see. Oh, all my stuff's right there. I mean, my YouTube actually has a decent amount of followers. It's got like 1,700. But I don't actually get that that level of viewership really maybe I could advertise to one of those not advertise but appeal to one of those games and be like look I have 1700 viewers or subscribers I mean <laughs> not actual viewers I'll sell anything if they pay me I'll advertise dildos I'll advertise lawnmowers <laughs> Mobile games, <laughs> whatever they want me to talk about. <laughs> Crap, now I gotta move all that. Maybe it, I think it'll fit there. This is why I like the pallet. I don't have to use a screwdriver to move it. Perfect. Oh, you know what I should do? In the final room, I should put a Christmas, the Christmas tree should be the final room. And I will fill it with teddy bears. Maybe, I think the tree has 200 slots, I can't remember. Let me see if I can, before I go find it. If it has 200 slots, I'm gonna need a lot of teddy bears and pumpkins. Daisy Christmas slots. Uh, oh, trees had 40 slot inventory. That was the old ones though. This one might be a mod or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Dildo mowers. <laughs> It's a special lawnmower made of dildos. 
It just spins dildos and they whack your grass. That's how you chop the grass. Somebody might might want that. You could market it. I think I'm going to have to try to stand in the middle. This isn't going to be tall enough. I'm going to need the other one. For now, I'll just throw this in the corner. I'm going to need the locker. Come on. How am I going to do this? Oh wait, where's my wood? Darn it, I trapped myself. We need a simple floor. I hope I didn't think of this incorrectly. I'm picturing... Oh, I'm gonna need another half wall there, I guess. Yeah, that'll be fine though. Nope, that's not what I want. Go up. There it is. So I would do it like that, which allows them headroom if they raid. So I'm not breaking any rules. I'll still have to build a half wall up there, but... I think this is fair. If I can build it. Oh. Let me up. How come I can sometimes climb it and other times not? Maybe it's my stamina. I need all the stamina. Okay, Daisy. Why? I'm hitting... Maybe I need to hit shift first, then? No. I don't understand. I do this all the time. Let me up. I literally did this earlier. Why is it not working now? Okay, something is wrong. Am I holding something? What is causing this? Let's try. Okay. Oh, that works. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I would have to build it from this side anyways. Oh, there is nothing in the chimney, sadly. Ooh, imagine if you could hide a safe in there. And maybe next time, like if I built the room a certain way, you could put a safe in there and you would only be able to see it if you climbed up on something. Like if I built this differently next time. It's a nice view up here. Yeah, this would be a fun hiding spot for something. All right, we gotta build. They don't allow you to build higher than three levels, except they do they do let you put a watchtower on top, so I could put a watchtower up above. But other than that, I can't go higher than this ceiling. My belly crawled. Okay, uh, another half wall. Well, I placed that for no reason. I think half walls only cost five. Yeah. They're cheaper. You know what would be really fun is if you could shoot the pumpkins and they would explode. And so then you could arrange pumpkins on like a wall and use them for target practice in Daisy. That would be such an awesome way to practice sniping from far away. You would just have a row of pumpkins and go like a kilometer away and just try to snipe each one. <laughs> that would be so fun. Now I kind of want to see if I can shoot a pumpkin. I'm curious. I don't think it'll do anything besides destroy the pumpkin. It'll say ruined. It's not going to explode, though. Let's move on up here. Why am I having so much trouble climbing? I never have this much trouble. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what is wrong? Maybe I'm not giving it enough of a head start. Oh, maybe I toggled the walk thing. No, it's... Let's try again. There we go. I'm on run mode for sure. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of the big streamers got exposed as fakers and cheat. Oh yeah. Expensive stuff and cash to randoms. Which weren't random and often he didn't give anything. Cheating using DMA cards. Damn. Yeah, that's one thing that sucks. They're all scamming. I remember when a bunch of them started advertising for that gambling company. Um, 
it came out like they would go on and do a bunch of streaming while they gambled on there and they would always win a bunch of money at the like during it during the process of playing and it came out that the companies were giving them money and also making it more likely they would win it was all rigged basically so they would be like oh look you can make so much money on this gambling game and then the viewers would get on there and make no money they would lose money <laughs> I don't know why I can't climb. Oh, it's the ceiling. So I'm not going to be able to climb on there anymore. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I'm an idiot. All right, let's see. The condition of the pumpkin is raw, pristine. Oh, yeah, it just damages it. Now it's ruined. <laughs> Can you still eat a ruined pumpkin? No. I ruined my food. But if you ruin them and put them in a locker, they'll stay fresh looking. <laughs> Interesting. I wanted to see it explode though. I'm gonna have to go harvest the other pumpkins. Ooh, I can use the pallet to store them. I wish I had gotten into streaming when I, like, oh shit, I just walked through that. When gaming starts, gaming first broke out on Twitch and YouTube, like, that would have been the best time to get in it. I'm slowly bleeding out. <laughs> oh, I don't like the placement of that. Uh, selling kit. I'm losing blood fast. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give myself a blood bag. Actually, I have a saline bag somewhere. Let's use the saline instead. I want the blood for emergencies. Oh no, I gave myself the sickness. Let's eat a vitamin. Oh no, I have cholera. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that a lot of those repair and restoration videos, they do it in reverse. <laughs> like they make the stuff look dirty they start out with like a clean product and <laughs> do the whole thing in reverse. Oh. 
All right, time to gather all these pumpkins. Oh no, I left the bag up there. I need a bag to carry this. I got one in here. <laughs> so many pumpkins. Flat Earth videos. Yeah, true. <laughs> You know what's insane? The gothic jewelry company I used to work at, one of the girls that worked there who was the boss's best friend was a total idiot and she believed in flat earth videos. That girl is such a moron. I, I literally got into arguments with my boss about her working there. I was like, your friend is like, it's... She's not smart enough to even do this job. She's just mooching off of you, basically. The girl literally believed in flat earth videos. <laughs> now I gotta get all the fertilizer real quick. My cat knocked us over. What's crazy is people still make those videos because they make money off insane people, basically. <clears throat> In fact, around the eclipse, we had a thing happen here where a lady that ran one of those new age channels ended up killing her children and her husband and herself because she thought the eclipse was going to like usher in some kind of crazy end of the world thing and she would rather die on her own terms than face whatever the apocalypse was in her mind but it's crazy that a channel basically encouraged that and pays no repercussions for making this lady you know, basically lose it. I mean, obviously it's still the ladies issue, but channels shouldn't be allowed to spread crazy information that if it's that causing that much of a problem. Mary's an Australian and moves there. <laughs> That's what's even more scary. She already has two kids and a husband. She, imagine how dumb her kids must be if she raises them to believe in flat earth stuff. The, I'm talking about the girl that's, that I used to work with, not the, the one that's dead, obviously, isn't going to raise anyone now, but yeah, the coworker was an idiot. Okay, fertilizer in. Uh, I need more seeds, but I'll just do, I'll go ahead and cut a pumpkin, I guess. Uh. I'm still sick. Sometimes when I get cholera on here, it takes me like five Tetra to get rid of it. Or maybe it's because Tetra doesn't do anything for it. Do I need to eat and drink water? <coughs> oh, 
Oops, I missed one. If somebody steals my pumpkins, I'm gonna kill them. Those are mine. I need more water, I guess. Yeah, I really do think the channels that spread misinformation like that should pay a price for it. Because they're making money off of scaring people. Like, they're making money off people's fear, basically. It's the same thing that preachers do. Like, TV preachers. I remember one time my sister was watching one of those TV preachers. And he was saying, this was before 2012... He was talking about that Mayan calendar ending in 2012 and saying he was using that to say like, oh, you need to repent now because the world could end in 2012. And my sister was crying. She was so scared. And I, I had a book about the Mayan calendar, so I went and got it to like show her he was just fear mongering. <laughs> but it's crazy that these people can just go on TV or the internet and say shit like that. They scare people and profit from it. Oh, I should fertilize these too. But yeah, I hate those. Can I? Oh, I can't even get seeds out of that. Only two left. All right, I gotta get back to building. Half wall. Wait a minute. I think it's targeting the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, I have to spin it around, don't I? I hate this illness because it makes your character grunt every five seconds. <laughs> I think it's cholera that, that does that. Ooh. Eventually you start throwing up water. I think I may be wrong. I should get all my ammo organized tonight too because I want it on Thursday night since that'll be pro well I might play Friday during the day before work but definitely Thursday night I want to go ballistic and just travel the map shooting at everything <laughs> driving my car around trying to start trouble okay oh yeah I gotta build how did I jump up before? All right, give me that. Hey, elf. Did you cook anything? amazing sounding today I didn't cook I had leftovers from Monday or actually they're leftovers from Sunday <laughs> it was just old Chinese food I'm low on food that I can cook myself oh I did make rice I forgot I made more rice so I did cook sort of very easy cooking with a pressure cooker Wait, I can't see if it's lined up. Close enough. 
It's not exact. It needs to go back a little bit, but... Okay, we sealed this side up. There's gonna be a gate there. I guess I need to put another half wall. Oh wait, I can't though, because that would block them. I just have to leave it like that. That's okay. I could put a wall there with a door. Would that be, I think that still follows rules. They can just climb up through the door. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I just moved. Oh, crap. There they are. Oh, wait. I don't have the wood on me. Two hinges and ten thingy. Thing of my bobbers. Few sicknesses due to grunt. I had it from blood infection. Oh, then that's what I have then. Because I used a dirty needle. Because I've used that needle on me before to to sew up a wound, so I bet it's dirty. If you get infection, what cures that? Just antibiotics? Tacos. Oh, the one you ordered is out of stock. There's nothing worse than an out of stock item that you want. I used to have some size that were really cool. You know, the like ninja size that have the handle and the prongs like Raphael from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I had black ones that were full metal. Like they weren't. Sometimes you get those and they're really cheaply made, like they're molded and the sides can break off, but these are like full tang, all metal. They were the coolest things. But I lost them when I moved. I wish I knew what, I don't know what could have happened to those. I think they just got left behind when I moved. Tetra and disinfectants. Oh, so that means my wound is literally ah. infected. I don't have any alcohol on me. I can probably go find some. Where did I get a heat pack from? Let me throw that in, in a locker or something. I think I picked up a bunch of junk somewhere, somehow. Ooh, I could plant this. Hang on, let me drop this. Oh, I forgot to take more antibiotics. I'll take vitamins too. Hippie junk store and they had nunchucks. <laughs> you just said they're prohibited, so they're like, okay, half price. These are illegal, but we'll give them to you half price because they're illegal. My loot's starting to get disorganized, I can tell. There's random things everywhere. Too many batteries. Ah. Okay, uh. Oh, right, I need this. We were gonna, I was trying to do a door right here. Let's see how that would look. I don't know if it's going to work very well. Put 
Potentially. Knife maker guild. Oh, you have a. Is there like an, a, a knife maker guild there that you're? Is it like a? What am I trying to say? Is it like a country, state based guild, or is it like each lo locale has their own guild, like each city or something? I guess what I meant is it state run type thing, like one official guild for the entire uh, country. Or is it more like specific guilds all over the place? I think where I'm at, it's they have guilds like that, but they're based in each city. And they're for, you know, blacksmithing or whatever. I don't know if we have a main official guild for the entire country or anything. Oh, I forgot. I have to be on this side. I'm going to have to get the pallet out again. I think. State rep. Oh, yeah, national level. Yeah. That makes sense, though, just because of the size. Like where I'm at, of course, Texas, it's like a mass. It's like as big as multiple states in this country. It's so dang big. So we probably have one for each major city or something. Mm. I wish I had a forge and knew how to do all that. I would be making some crazy ass blades. Katanas. <laughs> ah. I love how Damascus looks when it's Got those fold marks, like all the chrome and black kind of texturing. Horns and bone or bones and horns and materials. Oh, so processing bones is worth more, you're saying? I guess because there's more people that use those for things. I used to know a girl here that uh, she she's like a fashion designer, but she makes Viking inspired stuff. And her favorite thing to use is bones. And she makes like crazy chest plates out of bones, like all these armor looking things. I don't know who the hell buys them. I guess people that are wanting to use them for photo shoots or <clears throat> movies or something. It doesn't seem like there'd be a big market for bone armor. <laughs> it looks cool, but it's like, who's going to buy that and wear it out on a normal day? Uh. But she made some really cool stuff. Out of, all out of real bones. Oh, you made a mini forge out of clay. Uh. Oh, key rings. Spoons. Ah! Uh. Yeah, it would be cool to make some really tiny blades. Even like a blade so small you could wear it as a necklace. Indian style beaded chest. Ooh. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, one of hers made me think of the Native American ones where it's like hanging down but there's horizontal pieces. Ah. Oh, I forgot to take another medicine. My character's dying. Slowly. Ah. It's getting worse. <laughs> Blurry vision. Ooh. This doesn't look ah. very tasty.
Yeah. I may I tried to make an aluminum melting forge for mm. aluminum cans once. I bought a steel bucket and I used a YouTube video for how to do it, but like you use another bucket to mold it and use a metal pipe and you're supposed to use like a blow dryer to shoot air in to, you know, fuel the flames, heat it up faster or higher. I, st I tried it one night, but I, it was so noisy. And my, that was back when I had a backyard, like I had an actual house. I was worried my neighbors would call the cops on me because it was like shooting embers mm. up in the air from all the moving hot air. And you could see it like glowing in the backyard. <laughs> but it was oh. very small like that, like a bucket sized forge. Ooh, that was loud. Keep smashing Tetra. Oh, okay. How many do I have left? Seven. I should have enough, I think. Would codeine help? Probably not. It only helps pain, not fever. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with them. Oh yeah. Uh oh, I hear I think I hear the player coming. I heard footsteps in the distance. My character's over here making grunts. Oh, I should have waited for the pill to disappear, okay. Alright, let's build that door. I'm gonna need to put nails in and I think it's 20 I hope it's 10 actually but have door oh. an extra 40 bucks sales are where they get you oh. wait I put 10 in so the door only costs six I guess oh. hmm the door itself was six, but the wall was uh, probably 30 or so. I've only got seven boards or planks left. Oh. Lots of nails on here. Code lock the door. Boker plus Wasabi G10. That's funny that it's named Wasabi. 
because I, I love wasabi flavored foods. G10. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. It has that kind of like slightly Japanese look to it. Yeah, I like the blade too. They have a bunch of similar blades that company. Like with that shape. Yeah, those look cool. Um, I hope that guy that was shooting a gun doesn't come this way. Oh wait, I don't have enough planks. Shit. I'm gonna have to go get more wood. Ooh, I could hide stuff back here. Technically, you're, you're not supposed to make them crouch though. bothering me it's not even that's better <laughs> what am I gonna do Oh yeah, something that doesn't look like you're trying to threaten people with it. <laughs> like one of those giant big old knives like the stereotype uh on Crocodile Dundee, he had <laughs> he's like this is a knife and it's like this big ass like two and a half foot long blade. That's like a famous scene from it was either the first or second one of that movie. <laughs> The cops would be like, are you trying to rob people with this thing? Like, what are you? I'm scared to go outside and harvest wood because that guy's probably lurking. I guess if I leave this in here, it'll be safe. I should probably put the nails in it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, God. If I died and lost all these. I just need some wood. I guess I'll leave them in here. It's a little, actually I should put them in a locked locker. Why am I leaving them in a backpack? That's dumb. Oh, I don't have the big locker anymore. I, I forgot. Uh, also, if they broke in this door, they could circumvent all the other doors. <laughs> Damn it. Let's disassemble. Wait, I have two screwdrivers. So is it not legal to carry any knife at all? Or is it something where it's kind of like they might be lenient if they're in a good mood type of thing? Or is it like completely you could go to jail just for carrying one? I think it varies by state where I'm at, but Texas, you can literally carry a sword here. And out in public and they won't say anything I mean it'll definitely get some eyes on you like you might get watched but no one's going to arrest you they also have open carry so there's dudes just carrying guns 
we we tend to have a lot of shootings in our bar districts because people get drunk and they're carrying guns. So if they get in an argument, of course the gun comes out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, oh yeah, probably blade length. Yeah, even other states here do have that, but Texas, they they don't care. They're like Go ahead, carry an entire katana on your back if you want. Oh, okay. They would just give you a warning. So you can kind of get away with it. I'm only doing this as a precaution if I get shot outside. It'll give me time to get back to the base. I don't think that guy's here. He probably left, but just in case. Darn it. Let's see, I'm going to need that actually outside. And that goes back in the truck. Oh, wait. Yeah, I still got to move those. Jeez Louise. So many things. Wowie. Lots of code locks. I'm out of space. That's all of them. So how many more doors can I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, that's ten right there. So fifteen. That's not bad. I've already got one, two, three. Three. I've got seven already. So seven and fifteen, twenty-three. Twenty-three doors is not bad. I only need seven more to hit the maximum limit. But twenty-seven would certainly slow them down. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's you could just say it's traditional, basically. Let's see, carry this. Oh, I had more screwdrivers in there, too. I can also leave that there. Wait, how much wood? I could fit a lot more wood if I carry that instead of this other one. I'll drop that one there. Wait, didn't I plant seeds? Oh, they need water. Darn it.
All right, how? I think I had water in here. What's wrong with the? Is the tree blocking it? It must be. Wow. There it is. Oh yeah, I need that sheet metal upstairs too. I could wait till it rains and let it just do this for me, but it doesn't take that long. Oh, you could say you're a farmer. That's what I'll tell them. I'll tell them I'm a farmer in Daisy. <laughs> if I get pulled over for having some strange object. <laughs> Don't worry, officer. I'm a pumpkin farmer in Daisy. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Oh, hey, I got rid of the illness I just noticed. I forgot I'm not coughing anymore. Or grunting. Where was this at? got more tools, decorative stuff. We got wire that we're going to need. Oh, I can get some more medical. It doesn't have the IV bag, though. I mean, the IV starter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the car stuff. Since I'm on the server, I can go ahead and put things back on it. Missing one tire. Oh, I think it's in the other locker, isn't it? <coughs> Whoa. There it is. Very nice stockman's. At one point I was really into those fancy, they would show these ads on Instagram for these fancy, I think they were Japanese. Well, no, they, I think they were American made, but they were fancy Damascus style blades, but they were cooking knives and they were all, they had like a rustic look. So they were very like, it had that hammered texture on the side of the blade where it's kind of rough and then it just flattens out for the sharp part of the blade. They were just like cutting knives for cooking in a cleaver. I really like the cleaver one, but they were expensive. They were like two and $300 a blade, I feel like. So I never did get them, but for a while I was super into those. I would just stare at them. Dreaming of owning them. <laughs> okay, gotta collect wood now. Lots of wood. Ow. 
abalone shell. That sounds very expensive and fancy. Out of all the custom stuff they offer on this server, I think having a custom flag up there would be cool. The armband, no one really sees from far away. Unless you had... If you were good at designing the colors to pop from a distance and you had a big giant logo on it, I guess you could see it. But the flag's actually pretty visible when you're walking up to a base. I'm going to have to drop everything in here. Oh, it still only has about the same as the other bag. I think it has one extra slot here, though. Or I could do... Okay, hold on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could do one, two, three. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go horizontal. It's the same either way, isn't it? One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you do it, really. Okay. Damaged. Oh, here's some trees that are all close together. Chop these two. One of my old roommates was my he was a chef and he was like really into like super fancy cooking gear and he left when he moved he left a cleaver with me and that's like my favorite cutting blade out of all of them. I think well-made blades are definitely worth it if like if I could afford more I would buy more <laughs> but that cleavers I use that thing for pretty much all my cooking the only time I switch blades is when I'm trying to cut bread or something. I have like a bread knife that's serrated. I think I like cleavers because you can chop stuff really finely, like a onion, green onion or something, and then you can scoop it with the blade and throw it in the pan. Thinner knives, you can't scoop as easily, I feel like. <laughs> it's just nice to do it that way. I'll have to look at what brand that cleaver is that he left. But yeah, it's lasted me a long time without sharpening. I actually need to take it to get sharpened soon because it's starting to not be as great. But Yeah, it's like a tool you can use for multiple things while cooking. Very convenient. Oh, you know what I should do today, too, is the missions. Let's see if there's one running near me. Those are really fun. for If you want to scare yourself and have an adventure, the missions are great for that. Because they're always pretty scary and dangerous. Lots of zombies and people running at them. Like people trying to do the mission at the same time. Oh, you teach people how to sharpen? That's one thing I need to get is a sharpening stone. I, all I have for sharpening is one of those cheesy tools where it has like a rotating wheel and each step of the wheel is a different type of, like a different step for sharpening. But I don't think it works very well. I would be afraid it would ruin the cleaver if I used it on that. I only use that on my cheap blades. But yeah, if I had a grinding wheel or something and I knew how to use it. Let's 
that's what I would I would uh, sharpen it myself with that dang it I gotta fix this hatchet oh no the stone's almost gone I should have brought the other ones flat stone is best I had a, I kind of suspected that because those other goofy tools they seem harder to get right especially the one I have it's got like a V shape and you're supposed to just drag the blade through it oh no grinding wheel How much wood do I have? Oh, I need a lot more. I gotta do a lot of building. An old pair of... What do you buff with the jeans? Like the edge of the blade? Like the sharp part? Or you or just the whole blade itself to clean it up? I guess what I mean is what is the burl, the blade burl? Is that considered the finest the the main edge that does the cutting? I didn't know that that would help. I think I have some old jeans. Oh yeah. I think some of my crappier blades that are more fragile, they've been jacked up from cutting harder items or hitting them on things like the edge of a hard countertop or something. So those need, those might need a lot of work, like actual grinding <laughs> or at least the part that's, that's jacked up. But honestly, some of those are so cheap, I would rather just get a new blade than try to save them. I definitely want to keep that cleaver in good shape, though. I really like that thing. Um, uh, uh. I need to make some hot chocolate. I need that little bit of caffeine. Sharper, longer. 20 bucks. Regrind. Yeah, I suspect... Well, I don't know how bad those the ones I have that are roughed up are, but they definitely have little nicks on the blade from hitting like on the edge of a metal sink or something. I don't know what actually damaged them, but they, you can feel it when you're cutting something. There's like a nick or two in the blade. I wonder if they're working on a next gen Daisy. Oh wait, we already talked about that. I remember. It'll probably come after Arma 4. They will steal it. <laughs>
There we go. We've got 60. Now I can build more shit. Everyone knows about my troll base now. Wait, this is the perfect plan. Now everyone on the server thinks my base is a troll. So now I should actually put good loot in it. <laughs> no one will come in here now. <laughs> the ultimate... The ultimate plan. Convince the entire server it's a troll base. I'm going to have to start doing actual math to figure out how much I can build now. So, we've got... I mean, I can get more, any amount of wood. I'm good on wood, but I've got 60 right now. Okay, um, oh right, I need to check how much, that was the deal, I need to find out how much I can build. So, I've got two locks I can take off in the garage. I'll save one, I'm going to save one for the door at the garage. And I had 15 here, so I've got 16, I'll take this, that's another thing though, I forgot about lockers. Hmm. That I can find more code box though. So we'll just say 15. I can make 15 more doors. I've already got 6. Kitchen steel jeans. I wonder where the best uh, sharpening stone... I could probably get a sharpening stone on Amazon, I guess. There's a hunting store near me, too. I think it's a Bass Pro Shop. We have those all over the place here. Those and Cabela's. They're both giant hunting chains. Bow 
but yeah, I need to get a stone. Oh, right. How many nails? I forgot to check. Okay. So I can build 15 doors, but my main thing is walls and floors. I've got three times four, so that's 12 walls or floors. 13. Thirty-one, something roughly thirty. I'm almost certain I've got enough to finish everything. So this side would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got more than enough. Even if I extend, I want to extend out one this way and one that way. Maybe even two on each side. Fine, flat, and diamond file. Stone will take away material. Oh. Let's drop it on leather or denim. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about YouTube. Yeah, I guess I should use the crappy blades to kind of learn. And then I can use... Or, you know, sharpen the cleaver. Because that's the only expensive blade I have. I'm trying to think. I've got the cleaver. I've got a sort of Japanese style chef knife that's a cheapo one. And then I've got a serrated bread blade. I think that's it. And some steak knives. I used to have a lot more, but when I moved, I left a lot of stuff behind. Oops, I should probably shut that door. Alright, I think I've got the game plan. I also forgot you can modify walls and take them down. So, if I mess up the plan, I can just rearrange shit. That's one good thing about this mod. It's really easy to modify your walls if you don't like them. All right. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to shut it and back out of the way. Okay. I think I counted 31. So let me think. Each room is going to be three walls and a ceiling. There won't be a fourth wall. Well, actually there will be a fourth wall. I have to separate the rooms. So it's actually six total. One, two, and then four. Yeah, damn it. Except there's a, a wall in the middle that both would have. So each section. I have to visualize this in my head. I'm very visual so it'd be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen four more rooms here would be sixteen items and then two more here is another eight to 10, I think. I think I want this side to reach out by two, though. I 
I just like the idea of it branching out. I think they had a rule, or it's built so that you can't go too far without having to build pillars, though, to support the weight. I should probably only do one on that side and then two on this side. All right, let's at least build one then. All right, got to get on it. Oh, I need nails. Damn it. Ugh. I'm scatterbrained. It's going to fill them up in every little crevice on the way down there. That's enough for now. What a mess. I guess the mission's never going to pop up because I've had the radio on for 30 minutes and it's still not said anything. Let's turn it off. Oh. I accidentally turned the other one on. Oops. Maybe that's what I did wrong the other day. It's on the wrong channel on the other radio and I just had it playing. <laughs> I took a battery out so I don't do that again. Nails, nails, nails. We just need the floor, I guess, actually. Wait, what? Oh. Delco diamond sharpening stone that looks identical to the ones in Daisy. Don't have expensive knives. So why are they, they like the ones in Daisy? They have that kind of oval or diamond shape. What is the reason for that? Does it help? Like, is there a reason they're shaped that way, or is that just like a brand thing? Oval rod sharpening stone. Fourteen inch. Oh, yeah. Trench spade. Phantom X Vapor Denied Belt. <laughs> Curvy blades like garden shears. Oh, okay. So it's best for blades that have that sort of curve. Wait, I gotta lock onto this. Wait a minute, because these are slightly off, my rooms are going to be off unless I fix the issue. I guess I could leave a gap. What? How did I get sick again? What's making me sick? I bet I still have that infected wound. That's what it is. I'm going to have to clean it. Let's eat bacon.
Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess I'm a little sick still. I used to have throwing blades that I would practice throwing. Like they were supposed to be made for it. I also had a terrible roommate once that ruined an archery target I had because she and her, she had a bunch of guy friends come over and they got drunk and they all threw their knives at my archery target and sliced up the whole thing. Like, I don't know why they didn't think that would ruin an archery target. They were drunk, but <laughs> I was like, you guys are idiots. Okay, where's my axe? <laughs> to keep a slim figure. <laughs> it's the new weight loss fad of getting cholera. <laughs> the cholera fad. So if I extend that, what I want, so I would have one more room there, the three in the middle, it would wrap either one or two more that way. The base is not going to be symmetrical. Originally, I wanted to make it symmetrical, but it's not going to work. So I'm thinking make it really oblong and weird. I'll go two more that way over that garage thing. If I have enough, that's what I'm worried about is I may not have enough materials. Yeah, I'll just do one on this side and maybe two on the other. It's such a weird base. <laughs> the goal is just to make as much effort to get into it as possible. But I'm, I'm going to run out of resources if I go too crazy, so I have to kind of reel myself in. All right. You know what I should do is go on a mission to get some lumber so I don't have to cut more wood. That would be more exciting than watching me build anyways. It would be dangerous. Another four. Garden shear blades or tool steel. Pirate style cleaver. Oh, yeah. Like a weapon cleaver. <laughs> Let's see. Is this going to be off? Oh, yeah. You can see it. Uh, let's see. If if I fix it, there's still going to be a weird gap, though. It would be better to just fix it on the final wall. That's what I'll do. 
Well, actually, no. Fixing the floor might be better. I'm going to freeform it and see. What's the freeform button? Is it B? Yeah, it's B. Okay. Oh, I see what they were saying about it being hard to... If you don't lock it on, it doesn't let you do what you want. Oh wait, I could lock onto this floor actually. There it was, yeah. It'll just leave a gap in the floor, but that doesn't bother me. That'll work. It's just a tiny gap. They can shoot me in the balls from down there. Oh wait, my character doesn't have balls, I forgot. <laughs> recycled, oh like recycled blades and stuff, or saw blades, pieces of metal. I like watching those YouTube videos where they make old junk into weapons. Those are always fun. Leaf spring from car shocks is good steel. Yeah, I forget that one YouTuber, but he's always, I think he's in a foreign country, but he always posts like the most crazy recycled stuff. Okay, so we we got this. I just would need. I'm gonna go ahead and build the other side, at least one, maybe two out, and that way I can get a better idea how much I've got left. Ten, and we're gonna do floors. You could get creative with the floors and like angle them, even overlap some. I'm picturing like a pointed end, like a corner. I could do some interesting stuff. What they really need is triangular floor options, like half a floor divided down corner to corner. That would allow you to make curves, sort of like a octagonal shape or hexagonal I guess you could still make that happen by rotating the floor in free mode I guess why can't I see it uh, where is it Oh shit, <laughs> I forgot it wasn't placed yet. I'm gonna break my leg. You can't walk on them until you place the hologram. All right, 
right, so I'm picturing go two out, two back, and the final loot room would, I guess, be right here. Or I could even, I thought I heard footsteps. I could even wrap further out like another level or another row. There would just be like a side room of stuff here. But then this would wrap again and go further that way. That would be too many resources, I think, though. Fantastic long swords, ring wraith. Yeah, those ring wraith swords in the movie were really cool. I like some of the elf swords too, and the even some of the goblins in Moria had cool, like, kind of scimitar, really jagged scimitar looking blades. Steel drill bit. I think I've seen that guy, that YouTube dude, take a bunch of used drill bits and he like melted them and hammered them into a blade. I don't remember what kind of bits, but I'm sure they were some kind of good metal. Take a limb off. <laughs> I can't imagine what, how much it would suck to have an entire arm chopped off, like in medieval days. At least nowadays you just get shot and if you get hit in the head you die instantly, hopefully. <laughs> if you get hit somewhere else you hopefully just pass out and bleed out while you're passed out. Blade death seems like it would be the worst. The only thing worse would be one of those torture deaths, like being impaled on a stake by the butt. Like a Vlad the Impaler kind of thing. That would probably be the worst way.
plow horses. Oh yeah. Jeez Louise. Yeah. It's like they used to try their best to discover the most violent and painful way to take people out. Now that's going to bother me after I built it that way. Now I'm like, oh, uh, oh well. All right, I need to go ahead and put walls up for what I've already built. And then after that, I can kind of predict how much I can build. Simple wall. They take a carrot, they have to make seven the next season. If they take my pumpkins, <laughs> one pumpkin, they have to give me 20. Wait, how many seeds? Do you, I think you get 12 seeds from a pumpkin. If they take one pumpkin, they better give me 12 back because they get 12 seeds. <laughs> I'm going to build this side first. I could extend it right here and build a tower that washes over everything. Hmm. Nah. I'll build the tower on the other side or something. Actually, having it over the garage might be a good idea, though. Hmm. Maybe it would go right here then. I would add one more floor here. It would look out over. I kind of feel like it would be better right here, honestly. It's more centralized. I don't think I'm gonna get raided online though. Because everyone else plays it on, like, hours opposite me. So I won't be here to fight anyway. I thought about farm stuff just the other day. Because I drove by a big field out delivering food. And it was something vegetable. They were still fairly low to the ground so I couldn't tell what they were but I was imagining like if it's corn or something the field had no fence it's right by a road a major road so what's to stop somebody from just stealing corn to grow at home <laughs> like stealing the young plants as long as you dug up the root ball safely Okay, I need lumber soon. I think we got to do a lumber run for fun. Let's see. I need another wall over there, I think. Server is going to restart in 20 minutes. You can plant dried popcorn seed and get corn. <laughs> the law. <laughs> It's stealing even if there's no fence. Yeah, that's true. 
Beans and peas from soup mix. Wow, so the beans they put in there are actually viable as seeds. Yeah, no, that I've done. I've bought habaneros at the store and used the seeds out of them. But I've never, I didn't know you could use like even soup. I thought they pre-cooked some of those soup mixes or seeds, beans. <laughs> if the door's unlocked, I guess, uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> If I leave my base door open, is it stealing if they steal all my nails? Yes. But wouldn't stop a DayZ player, most likely. Wait, why can't I get... Oh, there it is. I'm wasting all this time building all the other players. I literally saw a picture. They all, oh, I placed it off a bit. Oh, it's just because of this. Okay. Oh, well. It won't really, I could rotate it a, a little, but it won't affect anything really. But Gladiator and the others, they shot a picture all posing on their trucks and Humvees. Since it's like the final day for some of them. I'm like the lone wolf of the group, pun intended. I don't really like hang on the server with anyone. Mostly because I like to do my own thing, but it is, it's fun to go on missions with people sometimes. I just don't like to have to do it all the time. I like freedom. Spoiled apples for cider. I have a book on cider making because I wanted to get into it. And apparently you have to use a shit ton of apples to make a lot of cider. So I was like, okay, I don't have a tree of my own. I would have to grow my own apple tree. My dad has a bunch of land, like my childhood home has five acres. So if I could convince him to grow apple trees, I could make cider. Shaking a tree is a crime. Oh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense because you don't want people deliberately stealing all your apples. But if they're garbage ones on the ground that can't be sold it makes sense that they could be given out or free game but then again the farmer might want to make his own cider so I'm gonna grow real pumpkins this year I <laughs> I miss I've grown pumpkins in the past when I was a kid I want to grow some now that I've been a daisy pumpkin farmer. I need a lot of room for the vines, I think. <laughs> I have a balcony. I can put a planter out there, a big one. Oh, a bucket full would be enough for a few gallons. Oh, non-store bought, basically. Yeah. I tried fermenting ginger once, and it it worked, but I think because they were store bought, um, I don't know if they had been washed or what, but it seemed like they weren't. The fermentation wasn't happening as strongly as you would one come in your bathroom <laughs> take your soap
Yeah, I actually have some beer yeast, brewer's yeast. I got it to feed these little terrarium animals called springtails. They're like, I think they're isopods. They clean up terrariums though, they eat dead plant material. I feed them rice and brewer's yeast. That's what they're supposed to like. Okay, did I put the nails up? Yeah. Let's go, oh, hold on. Let's go get lumber. I need, so I need to bring the saw with me. Maybe we'll run into some trouble. Damn, that finished fast. <laughs> you can just steal some of the coffee they're making while they're in the shower. <laughs> They, they won't notice because they dropped the soap on the floor and they're distracted. Man, now I want coffee. Oh yeah, when the server restarts, I'm gonna make hot chocolate. I've got 15 minutes. That's enough time to go get lumber if I hurry my ass up. Mini soaps. I buy these like really cheap giant soap bars for my daily use but i have a we have a store here called heb and they make really nice or actually it's from is it central market that heb owns it's another store actually but they have um these fancy soaps that are like patchouli herbal you know like fancy herbal scents I have one of those for when I want like a nicer soap. I kind of use that like once a week and I use the other one daily. If they overbrewed the coffee, <laughs> there's nothing worse than bad coffee. Same thing with tea. Whenever I overbrew tea, I hate how bitter it gets. It completely ruins it. What the? I can't open the door now. Oh. Yes, we have more pumpkins. <laughs> Some of these aren't done yet, are they? Why are they not done? Uh-oh, we have bugs. Remind me to get some insect spray or disinfectant when I'm out. That one's gonna rot because it's got the bugs on it. There's a lot of pumpkins. I think fertilizer definitely ups your yield. Because I think I'm getting double the pumpkins when I fertilize. It seems like. It's moving. They're 
all finishing right as I got here, I guess. Yeah, you get two when you fertilize. You only get one when you don't. So I could literally, there's 18 slots here. I could get double that each time, which would be 20, 36. Yeah, 36 instead of 18. That's not bad, really. Oh, it just changed. Wow. I think I've got enough pumpkins for my trolling. We've got plenty now. Oh, man. No one's even going to raid my base. <laughs> I'm going to do all this for nothing. I'm assuming everyone's going to be bored on the final day and they're going to run around hitting every base because they've all got so much explosives. They don't know what to do with them. Imagine two months of people farming explosives, like, and then they get raided. Oh, that one's ruined. Why is there a ruined one? Are they? Are there other ones like that? No, that must have been that bad one. I bet I dropped it earlier. Yeah. I should take some to eat, actually. I don't need a leather kit. Actually, maybe I do. Ooh, this is damaged. Yikes. Imperial leather. I think the one I have right now is supposed to smell like whiskey or something. It's like an alcohol themed men's soap but it doesn't really smell like anything now like the scent is gone but the one that I like that's like fancy it's got patchouli in it and that one smells if you like patchouli it smells good some people hate patchouli I actually think patchouli smells really good I think it got a bad reputation here because hippies used to wear this patchouli soap but it didn't work very well and so they would just smell like sweat and patchouli and people associate it with like smelly hippies here <laughs> but it's not really it's not like that oh that's the ruined one i actually one of the plant stores near me had a patchouli plant one time that i bought and uh that was actually more interesting than the soap like it smelled really rich like the actual plant okay time to go get lumber I should sharpen this before we go so it's ready dove yeah when I was younger and my parents bought, like my mom would buy all, she always bought the brand names like that. I always thought Dove was harsh and like it makes your skin feel dry when you use it. I'm gonna run to the rest. Wait, how much? We've only got seven minutes till the server resets. I wonder if I should just wait. No, let's go balls to the wall. I'm gonna try to get the lumber that quick. I know where to look. Actually, I don't know where to look. Where did I see all that lumber the other day? It wasn't in Jito, was it? It was like... Where did I see all that? Also, how many people are online? Only seven. Oh, 
Oh, it was the the farm zone near Gito. Oh crap, tree. Shit. I've got five minutes. <laughs> Lady hospital chemist smell. <laughs> yeah, I hate that old lady perfume smell. Some of those perfumes are so strong, it like chokes you. at the farm up here. How do I get over there? Oh, I got a turn right there, actually. Wait, I'm in a mission zone. What mission? Oh, shit, there's a fence. Jeez. Looking for lumber. Oops. No, don't get stuck. Whoa. That was weird. Damn it. I know I couldn't go over that. Damn it. Sometimes there's lumber right here. I thought there would be. Uh, where else have I seen it? Uh-oh. I don't see any. Well, the server's about to restart, so... Oop. <laughs> right as I parked. Oh, brute. I remember getting that as a gift when I was a kid. <laughs> and, uh, it was like the most old man smelling stuff. It was there. It was... Uh, no, not brute. Sorry. It's the one with the boat. That's Old Spice, right? 
It's red. Their logo was like red with a, a little sailboat. I think I'm think I'm thinking of Old Spice. Brute is the green and black one, right? Yeah, I didn't like Old Spice. It was like a weird, older, like grandpa smell. And I was like seven, and somebody gave me that. <laughs> Imagine a seven, seven-year-old kid smelling like an old guy. Dead seaweed, yeah. It's literal old spice. I'm gonna grab a snack and heat up hot chocolate. No one stole the car while it was sitting there. Doesn't it leave the car on the server? Yeah, I guess it has to. Not necessarily bad feedback, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah. Like, if they have a good relationship with their dad. Whoa. So it spawns you outside the car. Like, since I'm here, I'm gonna check. Oh, wait, it may have spawned lumber over there. Now that I think about it. I should go back over there after I check these. I better hurry, someone's gonna steal my car. I'm just looking for sheet metal, really. I'll take epoxy. shoes yeah true I guess it also sometimes even if they hate their dad <laughs> They may be inexplicably attracted to someone that reminds me, or reminds them of him because of the psychology of it. That's why I'm attracted to crazy girls, because my mom is <laughs> was unpredictable like that. Now I have to go back and check. I swear I've seen logs in like multiple places in this town, but I don't remember where they all were. Let's see, how am I gonna get over there? Let me in. See, they spawned. I don't think these were here a minute ago. I was hoping for that. Whoops. I want to be able to throw them in the back. When a guy says she smells like his mom. A rebel. Her dad was the local police sergeant. Oh, damn. Yeah. A girl like that doesn't want her dad to like you. She wants a guy that her dad, like, hates, basically. <laughs> a bad girl. I've been with some crazy ones, but it's my fault if I'm drawn to that. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is going to save me a lot of time. Depending on how much wood I can get. Oh, oh no, I broke it. Shit. I wasn't paying attention. No. I thought I had more time. Oh my God. Let's see. I'm going to have to probably find a saw somewhere in town. It shouldn't be that hard, but now my car is sitting here. Dang it, I wish I had, I wasn't watching the saw. Shit. 
Darn it. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to leave the car like this and just take the battery. Where? I can probably find a saw around the farm if I'm lucky. I'm not going to find one in there. Gluttons for punishment. Take all your stuff. Oh, he took it all, meaning you sold him like a whole lump sum of stuff. Uh-oh, all these zombies. Oh, there's a base that got broken into. I bet a lot of the time people leave tools in those because they don't really need them. I'm going to go in there and check that out. Oh, I can't get in there. Shit. to check in here. Oh, there's an axe. You can't cut planks with axes, can you? I think I have to have a saw. Yeah, it took me a long... I think I learned my lesson finally, but it took me about 20 years. <laughs> When I was younger, I blamed them. I was always blaming them, and then eventually I'm like, well, wait, why does this pattern keep repeating? It's something I'm doing. <laughs> it took me a long time to, to realize I was my own worst enemy. Yeah, look, they left all this stuff. I bet there's gonna be saws in here. Give me a saw. Yes! <laughs> I knew there would be. I actually can take these axes too. Or hatchets, I mean. Let's take the hatchets. I knew there would be one because nobody ever wants the tools. They Oh, this hasn't been broken into yet. I could come back with my raid drivers. Uh... I'm trying those codes from the other base like they're going to work. <laughs> Just in case it's somebody related to them. Alright, let's come back and raid this then. After, I'll wait till I get the base built, then I'll come back here. Raid driver. Let's make it purple. Let's see. It needs more blue. That's close enough. What else did he have in here? Nothing down here. Man, he got cleaned out, it seems like. If all that's left is a locker. That's it. He has a planter I can take. And the flag's almost gone. There's not much point in having the planter, but I'll take it anyway. There's only a few days left.
Oops, what did I do? Oh, I must have let go of it. Yeah, I've had some weird <laughs> weird situations with people. Like with them getting upset randomly and stuff from whatever trauma they had. Dang it, I was trying to fit this box. Back to the lumber. I got so lucky. I gotta watch it closely this time. There was like 200 or so, I think. Let's see. Well, yeah, there's still about 200 left. Plenty of lumber. I've gotta watch the icon. Okay, it just went yellow. Okay, it just went orange. I'm gonna fix it again. You got arrested. Oh, they took you home. Damn, that's pretty trusting of them. Oh, they had legal shit to read? I mean, that's fair, though. What are you doing, cat? He's trying to steal my hot chocolate, I think. Oops. Oh, shit. I almost did it again. <laughs> I wasn't watching it. Oh, they recognized you. Yeah, you're off. That's one of the benefits of a smaller town, I guess. The community aspect. The way things are in America, in most cities now, it's like everyone's disconnected. There's not a lot of community. Everyone just goes into their own little home, which is like a fortress of solitude. <laughs> already orange again. I should probably check and see if I even have room in the car for all this. Oops. I may not have room. I got room for just 20 more. If I toss that tire kit, I've got room for 30 more. Also, if I toss the bear trap, I can take 50 more. 
Oh, there's room right there for a little bit also. All right, let's fix the saw. I can always come back, I guess. Yeah. And no one knows their neighbors anymore. One thing I've noticed, though, is that when I deliver to... Like, there's a huge Indian population here because of the tech industry. A lot of them work for... They do, like, computer programming. And I've noticed those neighborhoods have more community. Like, they're always all outside talking to each other in, in the evening. Like, at sunset. And the kids are always playing in the street. Like all the other social groups here, they're not, they don't do that. They all keep to themselves and they don't even know who their neighbors are. Like I barely know my neighbors. Oops, oh, I did it again. I was spacing out, but I got so much wood anyways, like, I'm not even going to be able to take it all. Let's see. Fill that one up. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah, even with the bag, there's no room. I can actually make a little bit of room if I eat a pumpkin, put the battery in, or throw all three up here. That's room for one, possibly two. Yep. So. How can I make it work? Just drop one of these. Carry the bag. I could get 10 more, but I think this is... I'll come back for more if I have to. Definitely worth the trip. That's like 20 trees. Oops, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I did a Britney Spears. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I, is there a way to honk the car horn? I keep wondering. I always want to honk the horn. Mango green curry. That sounds good. Mangoes are really good. Thank you. 
Oh shit. I went a little too far to the other. I started turning too soon. Helicopter. That way. Between Locker C and the Far Bridge stuff. That's like. Whew, really hard to tell the angle. Somewhere this way, it's probably. It's not the close one, so it's probably up here somewhere. There's a Limborg one. Where does that one go? I forget. It's a ways away though. Oh, there's one that crashes out here, I think. It's probably that one. There's only four people on. Mint yogurt is good. I like mint chutney. Okay, back to building. Oh god. Too much shit. I should probably go ahead and put the car in the garage anyways, but I'll... Oh, I didn't plant more seeds. We gotta, harv we gotta keep harvesting pumpkins. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now, actually. Pumpkins are the most important thing right now. Where's all the seeds? That one's still uh, growing. I must have forgot to water it earlier. Should hang on to those actually. Oh, there they were. I just have them in a weird spot. Because of that, I guess. Okay. Do these need water? Yeah, they do.
prawn are supposed to be pretty good. I think I can get those here at one of the Asian markets, but I'm not 100%. The restaurants have them for sure, but I don't know if I could buy my own. I'm sure the seafood area has them at the Asian market. What was I coming in here for? Oh, water, water. Dang it, I should have just put this in our backpack. It'd be faster. Damn, more 308. The one good thing about this base is I can harvest 308 ammo. No nails, though. I definitely need to build somewhere that allows me to harvest nails. Damn it. Oh, I didn't get any sterilizing stuff while I was out. I forgot. I need some. Unless this kit is clean. This one's probably clean because I haven't used it yet. Watch me get sick again. I really gotta stop running in the barbed wire. Can I combine those? Oh, yeah. All right, we need this. I had some more wood. Uh, yeah, I can fit it right there. 
Also, there's sheet metal. I'll use these. Oops, trying to split that. Where'd that one go? Pea and honey bone soup. So how long does a stock keep if you make it? Oh. Like, is it something you freeze? Or is it something that doesn't even have to be kept cold? Like you um, sterilize it, pressure cook it, I mean. I need to learn how to start preserving stuff. Because I feel like we may be on the verge of an apocalyptic scenario. <laughs> My country's in an unstable state and we're in an election year that's going to be like a crazy year I'm sure I gotta prepare for like Fallout 4 scenarios pantry stable What's pH five? Or 
are you saying make the pH at five? I just, I thought maybe it was a chemical or something like a preservative. Another wall, leftover tomato sauce. Science, alchemy. Oh, yeah, like literally the pH being five, level five. I thought maybe pH five was a chemical name or something. Or an abbreviation for something. Walls everywhere. So, let me make one more. Whoops, why did I do that? Kind of mold you'll see, botulism you can't. So, botulism is the most dangerous kind, I guess, since there's not really any tells that it's in it. How would you know? I guess you would just die <laughs> or get extremely sick. Oh, the mission's the cannibal mission. Maybe I'll do it because no one else is hardly online. I'll have to wait and see where it is, though. Find the defense and retake the base by capturing the flag. 15 minutes to lower the flag. Oh, 15 minutes is a while. P and ham is salty. Oh, you double the salt because you water it down. Oh yeah, bubbled. I guess that makes sense. Central side of Dolnik. Central side of Dolnik is down. Dolnik is the lower. I should do it. <laughs> I'd have to hurry. I'm gonna build a wall. Right there. Actually, I'll build this one now. It's easier. Feels like it's crooked, but I guess it is. I gotta go to Dolnik. Oops, where did I drop those nails? Oh no. They disappeared. I think they went into my inventory somewhere. There they are. I definitely don't want to carry all that. I just want to do something exciting and see what I get. The missions give you custom guns that are really cool. 
So they're somewhat worth it. Hopefully I don't get killed though. Uh, I'll leave these here. Oh crap. I have no room for anything. Throw it in there. Alright, I gotta hit this road. I would go here, take a right. Follow this road all the way to Dolnik. I don't even have to mark anything. Once I hit Dolnik, I'll know. Be prepared to fight. Actually, let me take this off because there's no point in having it on there. If I'm using that gun, it's going to be breaking the suppressor. Shit. at sea level my pressure cooker has two weights on it and one of them is for higher sea level I think mountain people to low no oh so you kind of have to stay the food has to stay wherever it's canned basically Oops. That makes sense, I guess. <coughs> oh. I got I got powder, hot chocolate powder all over my throat. Yep. <coughs> it didn't dissolve. Kind of like the instant coffee. The bottom of the cup is all powder. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. I'm 
gonna flip the car again. I knew that turn was coming up way too sharp. Here's another sharp one. I forgot which direction I was going. I'm going that way. We're almost there. Thirty-three minutes left. We're in the mission zone. It said the central side. Also, where's the flag? I don't know where to go. I should probably turn the car off. I'm just gonna park it right here. It's not the ideal spot, but. Probably take the battery and this. Okay. Central side is the other direction. Ooh, I need that bandage. I should grab medical while I'm here. Ooh, a saw, too. I'm forgetting the mission now. Okay, there should be a flag or something. I didn't see a flag on the way in. I would guess that it would be in a large area like this, but no. The central side is actually further that way. So, uh, I better take a look on the other side of the street too. Find the defense position and retake the base by capturing the flag. Yeah, so where's the defense position, though? Uh, 
Uh oh. One of them heard me. Central side. Yeah, Central's still this way, I think. I think it said cabin. I'm already in the middle. Unless that's Dolnik too, Central would be up there. I'm looking for a flag because it said flag. Oh shit, jeez. I didn't know she was there. <laughs> that actually made me jump. I jumped out of my chair a little bit. <laughs> oh shit. Seems like a lot of zombies around. How did that miss? That went right through his head. Now it said cabin. This is a cabin. But I don't see a flag anywhere. It's not that. Wait, where's the damn door? Oh, it's definitely not this. I don't see it. I'm running out of time because it takes 15 minutes to do the flag. And we're already at like 30 minutes. I'm trying to find it so I can start. Oh, there's a raid ladder. I might have to pick that up. Oh, there's a teddy bear. I need that. I'm so confused. I've never done this mission, so I don't know what to look for. We've already checked this side of the street. I guess if that's considered Dolnik, it could be up there or there or there. It said I was in the mission zone way back there though. Found the target. Is this it? What? Where's the target? What are they talking about? Is that it? Probably a lot of infected. Get in there safely and hold the position. They either mean the house I was by or this house. They must mean the house I was by. Wait. There it is. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, that's normally not there. Cannibals could counterattack. Capture it completely will reward you. I'm guessing it's going to spawn a lot of zombies on me. Oops, that was a bad shot. Twenty eight minutes left. Captured by 0%. Hold the position and you will make it. Oh. How do I know I'm holding the position though? No loot in there. Is it lowering? Yes. I think it is. 
I'm more worried about players showing up. Does it look like that's lowering? I can't tell. I guess it is. I'm stuck out in the middle of the open. There's a lot of zombies. I don't want them to trigger. see if there's anything in here oh that's where all the zombies are they're way out in the field though oh yeah it's gone down a little bit more okay now I can catch up on the chat I was trying to find the place Coco in the tea kit Oh, like an emergency kit. Yeah, Zippo lighters are cool, like the real ones. Oh, custom boots. I have some really giant <laughs> cyberpunk boots. You know that brand Demonia, they make a lot of goth boots. But I have these rubber futuristic ones with like giant chunky soles on them. I only wear them to like goth related events. Sometimes I wear them to concerts because they give me like four extra inches of height. <laughs> it allows me to see over the crowd. This mission is easy unless it spawns a horde at the end. I have a feeling it's going to spawn a horde. It would be hard. The only thing hard about it is other players can attack you. But I don't think any other players are here. Let's see who's on. Yeah, that's literally me and one guy. If he comes up and kills me, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. Try to stay in this mesh. I should lay down, actually. If I get into trouble, I can double roll over here <laughs> yeah like battlefield earth boots <laughs> everyone makes fun of that movie it's such a weird goofy movie I didn't even know it, but that, that movie was connected to Scientology. I didn't know that till recently. I watched a YouTube video. I was like, what? I never even knew that story came from Scientology books. Well, not Scientology, but when L. Ron Hubbard used to write science fiction, I think that's where Battlefield Earth came from. I guess technically everything he wrote was science fiction. <laughs> even Scientology. How are we doing on... Yeah, see, we need to fix that. Oh shit, I'm out of gun kits, though. Or 
more, more than halfway. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I like I like sci-fi movies, regardless of the weird origin. <laughs> I think my favorite is always going to be Aliens, the second Aliens movie. That and I'm only 41%. It looks like more than that. Um, what's that movie about the ship? No, I forgot the name of it. The movie that's like Hellraiser in space. Oh, Event Horizon. I like that movie. I think the best serious, semi-realistic <laughs> sci-fi is Interstellar. It's like a more serious, you know, there's not really any aliens. Well, actually, I guess there are aliens. He, he interacts with some kind of intelligence at the end. Yeah, the Predator movies. I still haven't seen Prey, the one with Native Americans. I really want to see that one. Interstellar was kind of sad, yeah. Event Horizon was like... It was dark and weird, but also almost comical nowadays like looking back at it <laughs> cool runnings biodomes in space with a space hippie I like the idea of biodomes May as well shoot them for fun. Uh oh. Did I trigger a zombie? Oh, I did. Whoops. can't see me though. Wait, if they're active, does it stop the flag? I might have to kill him. Praise great. It has Easter eggs you don't expect. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have to watch that one. It definitely looks entertaining. But yeah, the first two movies are pretty interesting and fun. And I liked how the second one upped some of the technology like he's got that weird electronic boomerang thing frisbee thing <laughs> I feel like aliens versus predators should have been really good but they made it kind of cheesy I wanted like a serious aliens versus predator it's kind of hard to make it serious, I guess, because it's two horror movie creatures fighting each other. It's like Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> oh, further back in time. 
Ah, uh, so it's more primitive weapons then. That would still be really cool to see. That, yeah, that reminded me. I still need to watch that. Man, this thing takes forever. All right, now that one's really far. I'm going to have to up the scope distance. I'll try 200. Hold on a minute. Uh, that's almost 250, I would guess. I'm going to go over the head a little bit. Shit, I ran out of breath. No, that was a bad shot. I knew I was going to miss that. Okay, let's try this. Why is it going? I think I have it set too far then. Let me try a hundred. And then I can just aim high. There we go. Yeah. That seems like more than a hundred to me, but maybe I have bad sight. Oops. I clicked it too soon. Eighty three percent, we're almost done. Got her. I only see one alive. Can't see his head. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's got that Ripley feel, but not as super tough. Yeah. That's a lot smarter uh, writing than just making her instantly powerful. <laughs> almost there why did the flag turn black though the logo's missing I guarantee when it gets to the top it's going to spawn a zombie horde actually I need to start loading mags while I think about that uh, let's unwrap these oops I guarantee there's going to be some kind of horde. All the missions do that. Was that sound I just heard? Oh, there's the loot. Okay. What? Oh, it gave me mackerel fillets. Oh, they're raw. Whoops. Why are they making sound? Not my favorite gun, but it's free. I'll take it. 
I think it's the Northman version. Or not. No, it's not. It's just like a customized one. Okay, this is valuable. That's a fancy leather. What a bottle. Oops. I accidentally burnt that. I don't understand why it's why it's making the sound it's making. Oops. Every zombie for miles is gonna come. I had the wrong gun up. <laughs> I need to check them all for... Shit! My gun. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Jeez. Now the fish probably hurt. Oh, no, it's not burnt. Okay, why was it banging like that? <laughs> I don't get that. Predator. Oh, oh yeah. I'm trying to think. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the big, one of the big stars. And a lot of the movies I, he was in, I liked. I don't necessarily think he's a good actor or anything. But, like, Terminator 2 is one of my favorite movies. And he was good in Predator. Dang, I need to fix all my guns. Let's load this one up. Yeah, I need gun kits real bad. Also got Pokemon. Oh, that reminds me. Let me, uh... I need to check all those bodies I killed for cards. If I can find them all. They're kind of hard to see now. I think they just. Okay, there's some. Is that one? No, there's mushrooms everywhere. Wait, they did despawn. I waited too long to check them. Oh well. I was hoping for better loot, but... At least I got this. Does it have Northman on it? No, I don't think this is the Northman version. It's just 
got wood and black combined instead of one or the other. I think. It may just be the regular wood one, actually. I can't tell. I don't see them enough to know the difference. Oh yeah, He-Man. I forgot about that movie, too. Oh wait, was there nails over there? No. This needs battery. There we go. Five in the morning. I better get home and start building. I just wanted a little excitement. <laughs> Let's see what this sounds like. Pretty powerful. It's I have a suppressor on it. Oh, he heard that? Oops. Shit. <laughs> Now I gotta check their bodies for cards. <laughs> oh god. Guess I'll take it. I don't really need more food though. that. Oh, 74 mag. I never thought about it, but this is a really good place to cycle car loot. Because there's so many cars. He cut me. Butthead. Yeah, this would be a good place for car cycles. I've got to find some gun kits while I'm here, I guess. Do police stations have gun kits? I don't remember. I know there's a military building around here back there. Jeez. Getting trigger happy. need a gun kit. You know what? I've got some at home, actually. They're just stored away. I should just go home. All my loot's gonna disappear in literally one day anyways. I need to use it. was a fun adventure. I've never seen this version of the pouch. I've seen a lighter one. I guess it depends on what 
type of leather you use or something. Or maybe they changed the skin. I don't know. Mine looked different, though. Maybe between all the people, you'll have enough. You can just buy, I mean, it's expensive, but you can buy mason jars, I guess. It's not very cost effective. Bacon bones. <clears throat> Where do you get the bones? My cat's standing on me. Jeez, dude. You're gonna make me crash. Would you move? <laughs> Near it. He's he's very distracting. So you're sell you're selling them. Oh. Oh, frost resistant. Oh wait, our, I think raid regulations are in place. Let me see, they may have turned them off for the end of the server though. I thought they said they turned them off. Uh, shit, I'm trying to drive and read at the same time. Oh, it is off all week.
we can raid. I don't think there's going to be anything really left. Oh, friends. Sausage rolls are for weed, man. Oh. They gotta feed the bums. Oh shit, I just passed my turn. Buttering them up just in case, oh yeah. time. <laughs> I always do that. This car's not going to make it to the end of the server. <laughs> Top right on a rock. Of course. I should have turned right. I saw that tree. I always had to go through right there. spooky looking.
More pumpkins. Fish give you a lot of food. I think fish are a better food source than anything else. Well, maybe not bear meat. to get a bag for all these. I forgot I had all that wood in the car. Ooh. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Where's that other bag? Let me get some pumpkins in here. So he's Oh, these never grew. I guess they need water. Okay. <gasps> we have one of each teddy bear color. That's the yellow. Oops.
fancy. Uh, what else? Oh. I guess I need to put some stuff away. That was the thing. Both of these are filled with wood. I definitely got a lot of wood. Oh, I need these. I need all the nails. Dang it. Uh, I'll just find it in the inventory when I need it. Woods. It's like Slender Man. I hope nobody sees me. Let's see if anyone's still on. Three people. So two others. I guess I need a half wall right there. It takes so long. Damn it. I accidentally hit the mouse button. The right mouse button. Half wall. I'll be right back. Oh, I gotta take the headphones off. Oop.
Damn, I heated up a tortilla with some meat and cheese in it to snack on, and right before I took a bite, I noticed the tortilla had mold on the back side of it. <laughs> so I had to throw it away. How disappointing. Okay, build that wall, half wall. Wow, it takes so long to build stuff. <laughs> Trailer trash. Did you hear my story? I almost ate moldy tortilla. I didn't actually eat it. Oh, you're eating chips? Ooh, I have chips and salsa. That's what I could snack on. I have to go get them now. Let's see, this is going to be simple floor, or actually it would be roof, technically. Let me see if I can prop my phone on this so I don't have to wait the whole time and hold the button. Hey, that works. Yes, I'll be right back. Do they have any interesting snack foods in Sweden? Like, I'm talking about like Cheeto type things that, that we don't have in America. Or Takis, I like Takis. The spicy ones. Oh, why is the roof up there? I guess I had to lock it onto that half wall. How do I do that? Okay. Nope, it's not working. Oh, there we go. Can't emphasize how much. Wait, y'all don't have real tortillas there? What do they have then? Uh, what is even a fake tortilla? <laughs> Cat, you cannot eat my hot sauce. Bro, what are you doing? Uh-oh. 
How am I going to get in there? I have an idea. Oh wait, I'm going to have to pack this down into box form. Do it. Come on, you can crawl. Damn it. Oh, I did it. I got up there. If I could just lay down now. No. I'm going to have to move it closer, I think. I did it! I somehow bugged in here. Now I can do this, I think. Come on, game. Let me do it. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a roof. I think I need to build it from the top. Oh, no, you don't. You build it from... You do build it from the bottom, but I don't think it's going to let me. Crap. I may have to put a floor here instead, then. Yeah, there's nowhere. Okay, well, I give up. I'll try the top. I don't think it'll work. Uh oh. I don't think I can even take it apart. They have Think of the cheapest off-brand tortillas. Oh, stale and awful. <laughs> so it's like really old tortillas. You're going to have to learn how to make them fresh. Come on, game. gonna let it disappear I guess my only option other option would be delete the floor
I'll just put a half wall there to protect from the outside. I wasn't going to do it that way, but I have no choice. Wait, where's my bag of wood? Oh, damn it. It happened again. I like my phone method. That helped a lot. I just put the phone on top. There we go. They don't make good nachos? Do they use that cheap, like do they at least use the liquid nacho cheese stuff that we have here? Or do they use something else? I like, I do like the liquid fake cheese, but I like real cheese better. Like Taco Cabanas, I think have real cheese on them. <laughs> what did it come with? <laughs> Three tortilla chips on the side. <laughs> they call that nachos. <laughs> They're like, here's your three chips. Enjoy. They were like Santa Maria, oh yeah. You gotta educate them on how to make real nachos. You can open your own nacho stand and call it Real American Nachos. <laughs> Should I? I think I, okay, I need to make at least three more ceilings, which actually need to be fours, I guess. Actually, let me test this out. Where's the, the break part? See, on here, it's like, where is it? Ah. 
is popping up mostly when I'm standing in the middle, not necessarily aiming at the middle. Weird. Okay, well, I guess I'll be able to hit it on that side then. Oh, they call the chips nachos. <laughs> they don't even know they're tortilla chips. Maybe I can climb up there. I still don't think I'll be able to work on it though. Oops. Oh well. We need another roof. All right. One more roof there. Ooh, I gotta do four on that side. I'll see how much I have after that. Whoops.
Yeah. Yesterday was Taco Tuesday. I used to get that every Tuesday for lunch at Rosa's because they have a special price that day. It's like, it used to be like $3.50 or something. Really cheap. It's not that cheap anymore. But my old job had a Rosa's by it. There's not a lot of Rosa's where I'm at now. There's like one. Every day is Taco Tuesday. I like Taco Buenos. Uh, I think they call them Muchacos there. Taco Bell has something similar called a Chalupa. Ooh, this is the airplane crash. I want to do that. I'm going to have to figure out where it is and see how far it is. I'm going to go ahead and start moving my stuff so I can leave it. <laughs> I'm supposed to be sleeping normal hours and I'm going to fuck it up tonight. Again. Um, more nails. Nails. Bialawa. Oh, that's way up north. All the way up there. Forty three minutes. Oh, I know where that one is actually. It always goes right here. Should I do it? <laughs> Fuel City. No, but I have seen that place. I've driven by there a bunch of times in the past. You know what? I should focus on building. There's no point in going to get that loot. I'm too easily distracted. I gotta focus. Turn off the radio. <laughs> but the airplane crash does, it's a pretty cool one. There's like zombies all over the field and there's a giant crashed plane. It's a fun one. All right, so four more roofs. Was Fuel City good? I hear a lot of people say it's really good. And it's at like a gas station that's open late all night. My mom. <laughs> How do you know? I mean, flavor-wise, how would, what would you compare their tacos to? Are they similar to any of the fast food ones, or are they more like those legit Mexican food trucks? Dinosaur statues, a pool, and some longhorn cattle. 
Interesting. There's a popular burger place here that I haven't got to try yet called P. Terry's. I've been meaning to try it. Did I use up all my other loose nails? I think I did. This needs to be put away later. Oh, they're like street tacos. Yeah, those are the good kinds. Oops, I accidentally double clicked something. Rusty's. I haven't been to Rusty's. I'll have to try them too. Fuzzies. I might have had Fuzzies a long time ago. Oh, wait. Yeah, I had it in Fort Worth. I have been to Fuzzies. I remember them being decent. I like Velvet Tacos, but they're overpriced. and fan They're like fancy tacos with exotic flavors and stuff. They're really good, but they're just... It's like $8 for a taco. <laughs> In each one's like custom, like they have one that's Indian flavors. They had a Thai one, so they try to, it's like fusion, I guess. It's like different themes for each taco. overhyped fuzzies yeah maybe so I haven't tried torchies either and there's a lot of there's several torchies that are always packed I don't know what the deal is like it can't be as good as people act like it is it's probably like white people tacos <laughs> Like, not very spicy, not very, you know, it's probably kind of generic is what I'm saying. Roof. I want tacos with, like, reaper pepper sauce on them. I like them spicy. I'm going to ask the server if anyone's going to do that mission. And if they're not, I'm going to go do it. <laughs> I've still got like 30 minutes.
need some excitement. Building is fun when you don't have to do like a million things in one night, but I kind of have to finish it tonight because it needs to be raided tomorrow. <laughs> I'm literally building all this so somebody can raid it before Friday. <laughs> Why is that? Oh yeah, because there's a gap right there. Oops, almost dismantled it. All right, so all I would need, that would be two walls and two walls. How much do I have total? Each one of these is three walls. Oh, I'm wrong, no. Each one is two walls, plus a little extra, plus 10. So it would be each, every three boxes, you get another wall from the 10 extra. So it would be, every three boxes is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 14 walls. Um, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 more walls. Oh, but I forgot I need to build doors too. Yeah, I'm forgetting doors. I may not be able to do the amount I wanted then. I need to just start building the inner walls and see what I can do after that. Do I have more wood in here? Only a little bit. I'm running low on that. Might have to go get lumber. Oh wait, I need to move everything to Alice. Yeah, I don't have any more wood here. Was it in the car? It's probably in the car. Let me go check. What's the fast way down? I knew it. <laughs> I had forgotten. Oops. Okay, where did the bag go, though? It disappeared. Damn it, mother. Every time. But where did that bag go? I'm so confused. It must have bounced into something. It's inside another item. I think there's another bag, right? It's probably in there. No? Weird. Maybe it's up above me. Ah. Uh, no, that's not it. That's the other one. Or is that? That is it. I picked it up. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So there's 20 more if I come back. Okay. How does it look? This Either this is going to be the final shape or I'll have to add one more on each side. It doesn't look bad with this as the final shape. I may just leave it. I don't 
know if I have the resources to do more than that. Oh god. Is there anything else in here? Oh, all the code logs, right. Yeah, I need to start building doors. That should be the focus. Okay. That, grab that. Ah, uh, that's good enough. Ah. I hurt myself. Oh yeah, we're gonna leave some traps in this bitch. Tripwires, decorations, these. Oh, yeah, I've got to raid that guy's locker tonight. I forgot. So much to do, so little time. Yeah, I've got four teddy bears. One of each color. There they are. They all have the name Brian on them for some reason. They each store six, you can have six slots. So you could put whatever in it. Like I could put pumpkins inside them <laughs> put fish I wish you could trap them like put a grenade that will explode somehow but it doesn't let you set them up that way all right so It was 7, 7, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 walls, or the doors, I think, cost. A, I need to find out how much door walls cost. I'll go ahead and do one simple wall here. I need more water. I'm going to grab water while this is being built. I was hoping to find like 20 teddy bears because it would be more comical, you know, for them to find a, a stash full of teddy bears, but it's really hard to find the amount that I wanted to get. So I have to settle for a bunch of pumpkins and a couple of teddy bears. Oops. But I'm going to leave a bunch of disturbing notes about some kind of pumpkin teddy cult. A teddy bear pumpkin cult. Maybe what I should do is leave each bear in a locker and name them. They all say Brian. I guess I could say they're all Brian 1, Brian 2, Brian 3, Brian 4. <laughs> and the letter will be written as if they wrote it. 
I just want it to be funny. I think I'm wasting my time, really, because no one's going to raid this space. I think every, once they announced that the server's wiping on Friday, everyone just kind of detached and treated tonight as, like, their final night. That's what it seems like. gonna unwrap them all now. Name them after serial killers. <laughs> One's gonna be Ted Bundy. Uh, what's the guy that ate people? Dahmer. <laughs> What's with all the Teds? There's too many Teds that kill. <laughs> Trying to st maximize all these stacks. Let's see, wait a minute. If if I don't extend it out one more, I would need this to be a door. But I also need this to be a door, so I guess I'll go ahead and build the door. <laughs> Two hinges. Where did the other one go? I hate when I do that. You split them and it just randomly shoots it somewhere. Simple door. There's not a lot of women serial killers, is there? Or maybe they are, but they just don't get caught. <laughs> Dang, I hear a trash truck outside. It's crazy that they pick up the trash this early because those trucks are really loud. So they wake up the whole neighborhood. Not me, I haven't even gone to sleep yet. Cause I'm insane. All right, so we're gonna do one door here. If it'll let me. Oh, it's, it may not let me. Oh, there it was. I'm going to use my other light for a bit. So that was just tin wood and two hinges. So I didn't use any wood there. Let me check how much wood it actually costs to build the door then. Base building. I hear a helicopter. It's in the field next to me. If I go to the raid driver guy's place, I could get it. Simple door. Ten planks, two metal hinges. Door frame. Six planks, ten nails. It only costs six planks and ten nails. That's cheap, honestly. But if you reinforce it, it costs a lot more. The metal wall, yeah. So it's only when you reinforce the door that it costs more. I've got enough metal to reinforce one more door. Either this one or the other one. How many planks was it? I already forgot. 
I'll just put 10 in. go. Uh, I'll just throw the seven in. I'm too lazy. Oh, I guess I didn't put enough in. Badass woman in the world. I do need to go get more wood anyways. I'll leave this and go check that helicopter. And raid that one place. I guess I'll take this for storage if I need it. Should be a helicopter somewhere over here. I'm going to see if it's this way. Oh, there it is. All right, I got to go over there. Nice. 
touch it. I think I missed him. Gotcha. Is he stuck in the car? Got another tortilla bag. Gloves. How are my gloves? Same. Pants. Smirch bag. Helmets. Nothing really. Some nine three nine. No gun, huh? What a waste. Did I bring a saw? Oh, thank goodness. Because I need to look for lumber and I want to raid that guy's little locker. All that waste of gas. Yeah, pretty much. I was going to come over here for that anyway, so... Oh shit. Whoops, don't <laughs> I drove into the Jeez. I think there's a hole in the fence I can go through. I think it's right there. Oh look, the lumber's still there. Perfect. Ooh, sheet metal. Even better. I can put that in the car, I guess. I might have to ditch that gas. Actually, I should just build a car up. Why didn't I do that before? This, if I fill the car up, I can ditch this because the server's ending in a day, so. I don't think I'm going to run out of gas by then. Wow, it takes forever.
Okay, drop that. Saw. I think I only need one driver for this, but screw code lock. Whoops, I'm trying to get the bone positioned. I mean the mouse position with the bone on the button so I don't have to hold it all this time. It takes a really long time, it's like 10 minutes or something. There we go. Perfect. Now I can browse the phone while I'm raiding the locker. I think it's 10 minutes for lockers. This locker looks empty though. Why did they, why would they put a code lock on an empty one? We made it through one cycle so far.
I don't know how long it's been. I should have set a timer. I, if I remember correct, each rotation is two minutes. And I think it takes 10 minutes or 15. If it's 10, you would have to rotate five times. I think we're on number three. It feels like it should be long. I think it's longer. I can check actually. Uh, rating guides. Storage takes 10 minutes. Yeah, so it's just 10. We're like halfway there. <laughs> it looks so funny. It just looks like you're scraping with the screwdriver. What time is it? Oh man, it's almost seven. I'm not going to have time to finish the base, I don't think. <laughs> All I really need to do is put a note at the end, I guess, and fill it with pumpkins. I can do that. I'm going to change the light color to orange. Evil orange. It's Halloween themed. I thought I heard a person approaching me, but it's a zombie. list of shit. Oh. Visitings. Yeah, socializing can be draining. Sometimes.
Cash. Got a cash stash. I should start hiding cash the way I hide stuff in DayZ. <laughs> Just bury it in bushes. Ooh, we got the locker open. False strap. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, it's always good to have some hidden money for emergencies. Ooh, they had a locker. Some more nails. I can use those. Some magazines for AKMs. And a code log. Nothing. Like, not a lot of stuff, but still better than zero. Take the mags. I don't know if I even have an AKM, though. The gun rack isn't really of use. The box is, though. Was it worth the raid driver? I guess... I could actually take this entire locker with me, too. Oh, yeah, I still need lumber. Oh, shit. Zombie. <laughs> I forgot I made my light red. I look so different. It's like bright orange red. Okay, I still need lumber. Is there any wood over there? I guess I'll just have to chop wood for the rest of it. something. What did I hit? Looking for sheet metal. Oops, wrong gun. That's going to be a little loud. Okay. I should go. It's already 7 a.m. Out of the way.
Yeah, I definitely had the wrong gun out. Oh, I made it through. I thought I wasn't going to make it through there. Shit. Oh, God. I'm power sliding. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. Oh god. I thought I was gonna maybe regain control. Nope. Post it notes is weed. <laughs> oh, medication. There's a tree there. Dang it. I'm stuck on the wall. It's hard to get it just right. Dang it. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Perfect. Of post it notes. Oh, you rolled joints with post it notes? <laughs> Those are such thick paper. Okay, I gotta. I need to fix all my guns tomorrow. Put this in the truck. Now we have four. Uh oh, I see sunlight coming in the window. I'm gonna have to finish building tomorrow, I think. I'm too tired. But I, ha I have to finish tonight because it's gonna get raided tomorrow while I'm asleep during the day. I don't think I have time to do everything I want.
he's gonna need that. Okay, what am I going to do here? I'm going to need to build I guess I should just finish it instead of going further. So I need to build a wall. Multiple walls. It hangs in plain sight. I guess that's a smart way to do it. Wait, what did I just build? Oh yeah, wall. The art of hiding without dying. 
Yeah, that's honestly the best strategy I've had on day Z. Um, I hide my best loot in plain sight, and I hide the crappy loot where they would think it's hidden <laughs> in the base. What time is it? Oh, 7.10. I swear I'm staying up later and later every day. <laughs> it's getting worse every day. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just going to have to stay up an entire day at some point. Wait, what did I just build? I don't even know what I just went to build. I need two walls here. Is this going to be the final room? Or do I want to extend these? I think I'm going to... I'm going to have to build so many doors, though. Alright, let's hurry up. I just need a wall. Two walls. Coming up. Okay. I need to get the whoops the wood over here. That bag. I'll come get the other one too. Why did I do that? Where's my other nails? I had I guess they're in the other bag.
Oops. Oh, I forgot 420 is this weekend. I bet driving for Uber, like driving on the roads that day is going to be shitty for me. <laughs> Everyone's going to be driving stoned. Austin people are really bad about driving drunk and stoned. It's also on a Saturday, so everyone's off work. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be a crazy day for me. Alright, so this is going to have to be the final room. Also, I need to move that pallet. Actually, I might leave this room filled with pallets and... Um, pumpkins. Pallets full of pumpkins. For now, I'll just put it there. All right, so I need to start making doors. I guess the final door should be a really strong door. I've got four metal I could use. I like some of the purple strains that are, they come from skunk. Like one of the ones I used, when I grew, I had a strain that was related, like one of the crosses, or parents that it was crossed with was skunk. But it was like a purple strain. <sighs> I haven't smoked real weed in like, three years though because I just started getting Delta 8 only because it's legal where I'm at so it's just easy you can just go to a shop a smoke shop and get it otherwise I'd still use regular weed should I do this one backwards just to change it up oops you want the door facing them anyways. <laughs> Three days where you come back and take it away. Planks and I need nails. Block. I'm 
I'm gonna need to get the metal. Oh wait. Oh, I do have to go all the way back. I can't jump off the roof anymore. Oh yeah, I still have more code locks. Oh boy. up all these fish. I'm actually gonna attach some of these to the door here. I could do two doors or one wall. The wall takes four metal. Seems like the door would be smarter. bunch of stuff in that one. Whoops. Build metal door. Wasn't a bag by the road. <laughs> Okay, take these back out, take that. Wait, I don't think I need metal for that, we'll see. Once I get one door for every room, I'm then going to try to do some of them as half doors. Or half the room. I guess, how would I do that? I would have to do it across. No, that won't reach, though. I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure if that'll work the way I'm picturing. Maybe it would start right there. 
There just has to be two meters between doors. Which I can measure by marking a spot and then walking away from it. Oh, I need to delete all this. Okay, where am I at? Oops. Oh wait, it's two meters. <laughs> I can't measure accurately then. Cause that's six meters below me. <laughs> I would have to go down and somehow measure that way, but I don't think they're gonna fault me. All right, next we need another door. I don't know if I want the final door there. Because I'm going to have a tent in there. I guess I can place the hologram and test it out. I need something so I can carry the tent up here. Where's the Alice bag? What's in it? Oh, it's just code locks and stuff. That's fine. Let me go get the Christmas tree. Mm, where can I stash these? Christmas tree. Oh. I also need to get to 10. Ooh, tomatoes. I do not need tomatoes, really. I don't need anything right now. Okay, we're gonna need this tent. Um, I need a lot more ammo tomorrow for my gun. This is garbage. I don't know where to put anything. Plenty of ammo. Gun kit, I need that really bad. Let's take that. Uh, I gotta find the Christmas tree and all my storage. Oh, did somebody find it? Oh no, they didn't find it yet. I thought somebody found it. <laughs> I've got so many punch cards. There's a locker. I'm gonna need to build some lockers. Probably need two gun kits for s fixing up stuff. I'm pretty sure the Christmas tree's in this one. I may be wrong. Oh, there it is. I also have a gear stand in here. Dang it, it's not even gonna fit. 
I'll have to come back for the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, I never did get enough brackets for the thingamabobber stairs. What can I throw in here? These. I don't know why I'm organizing. This stuff's all getting wiped <laughs> in like 48 hours. I'm so attached to it all. Uh, that was G. Where's D? I know I have more storage somewhere. It's not in there. I've got a lot of axes or hatchets. Who's triggering all those wolves? Dang it, I don't have room for it if I'm carrying them. <laughs> Sounds like they're after me. take forever to get here. I have time to go get the tree. Give me that. Where's the suppressor? The sunlight is coming in the window. I guess I can go back to purple light. Actually, I should turn this off. It's gonna make me wake up even worse. I can repair these tomorrow. What am I doing? I 
I just need to finish the base today. Alright, take the bag up. Let's go build the tent. The final room is going to be the tent, I think. And I'm going to put the tree inside the tent. I'm just not sure how it's going to look with the doorway there. Will it fit? I can do. Wait, the door is actually to the left. I thought it was centered. Oof. My plan's ruined. How big is the tent? I wish I could see through better. It's literally the size of us, the room itself. So I can't put that wall there then. All right, let's drop the tent, take the wall down. Or door. All right. The final room will be this room. And when they come in, the tent will be on the side. It's perfect. So it has 400 slots. I can put the lights on it. I should go get the lights from the garage. I want to decorate. <laughs> and then I'll build this door. If it'll let me. Oh. the Christmas tree and I need lights. Yes, the solar ones. I don't think I can access them because of the locker. Maybe on top. I should get on top. Well. Come on, game. Oh well, I'll take this one then.
Oh, I forgot the tree. the Christmas tree in the middle of the tent. Where's the base of it? Oh, it goes below the tent unless it's right on that pole. <laughs> mm. I wish I could place teddy bears on the ground around the tree facing it, like they're worshiping it, but the game won't let you persist. Like, items aren't going to persist on the ground if I leave them. They'll just despawn. Sadly. What I can do is put the solar lights in the tree. And then in, also in the tent. I think. Where's the tent, though? That's the tree. There's the tent. How does it look? It's very bright in here. Oh, there they are. They just go around the door. What if I put the red ones, the non-powered ones, on the tree? You can't even see them, really. Take to hands. Yeah, I like the solar better. Because you see them. Okay. So the tree has 60 slots. I think I'll put the bears in the tree. What should I fill the bears with, though? Oops. Hmm. Oops. I can fill them with fish. Um, I think I'll just fill them with tomatoes maybe oh I didn't get enough I'll just fill them with rotten pumpkins we need all the rotten pumpkins we can get Or I could give them dried ones. The rotten ones aren't very pretty, are they? Pretty ugly. It's not a troll if I give them usable food, though. Oh wait, it's not gonna let me store the bears with food in them, I forgot. I can try. Oh, the server's about to restart. Yikes. I think I'm gonna have to finish this tomorrow. Hmm. Let me see if I can even put stuff in them and then put them in. Hey, it works, it works. Let's 
let's do um, the white one. <laughs> I should put punch cards in the bears just for the hell of it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I can do that tomorrow though. Okay. For now, I just want something in here. We gotta leave a note. We gotta make some kind of troll note. I wanted it to, the story was going to be like, this is some kind of weird pumpkin teddy bear cult. So I need to write something that sounds crazy about worshiping pumpkins or something. <laughs> this is the final room though. So I have to write something like, uh, you worked very hard to get to this room or our temple. <laughs> Please accept the great pumpkins uh, divine gift of food inside us dot 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 and then they open the teddy bears and it's it's just rotten pumpkins and rotten tomatoes <laughs> I like this font. <laughs> now we just leave the note in the tree. I might put punch cards in them tomorrow. So it's like they get something. <laughs> oh, it even puts gifts once you add things. That's fun. <laughs> I'm just going to fill the tent with all the other pumpkins. Do, do, do. I'll have to get the rest tomorrow. I'm too tired today. I've still got to build doors right now too. My body needs sleep. We got to put a code lock on this. I'll leave it so they can see what's in there, what they're fighting for. Ooh, I should leave traps in there tomorrow. I've got to do more work, but I'm going to sleep first. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish these doors real quick. Alice bag is empty. I've got wood and code locks. This still needs a door on it. Ten minutes till server restart. Can't believe I stayed up till eight. This can't be healthy for me. I'm starting to hit that point where I'm no longer tired, but I know it's gonna make me crazy later. I also have a concert tonight. I wasn't sure I would go. I don't know how expensive it is. 
but I I cannot be sleep deprived if I'm driving there and working later in the day today. I'll crash and kill myself or somebody else. Alright, so we built the door. We need a code lock on it. Yay, one wall down. So that'll sort of be like the final room. I'm thinking I could build a wall here, but I'll, wor I'll worry about that tomorrow. We need walls all up and down here. I can't build any more doors though. Oh no, that means I need lumber. No. I may just leave this and hope nobody raids me in between now and then. I would I wanted to leave more notes and stuff though. It's it's missing a lot. I've gotta build all this storage too. Two for every gate, so if I get six, that covers three gates. I only have to chop one more tree down. Let's see. We're going to build one gate here. Another one here. Where's that pallet? I need to replace the one that I moved right here. pumpkins tomorrow <laughs> oh yeah this three more logs three more logs I didn't know. Were you leaving? When you said GG, Folk Elf, I didn't know if you were saying that to something I was talking about or if you meant you were leaving to go to sleep or something. But yeah, if you did leave, or if you haven't left but you're about to, uh, thanks for coming to the stream. in there oh Oh yeah, where's the fence kit? <laughs> this is such a mess. 
I think it's in here. No, there's another code block though. And another pickaxe. I guess I'll just make another one. Come on. Oh, I know where it is. It's in here. There it is. Of course, I don't have anywhere to put it. Something like that. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to put the logs in. I think it takes 15 or 20. The server's about to restart though. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wait. When it says two minutes, you have less than two minutes. You have like one minute. We have to wait a couple minutes. I'll be right back.
can only play for like another 20 minutes. I've got to be fast when I build this next couple walls. I thought I clicked play, but maybe I didn't. Dave. <laughs> I need more snacks. I'm out of snacks. I've got to go to Daiso and get those wasabi things again. Those, I like those because I can just eat a few and they're, they satisfy. Okay, so I need to build all the frames. Also, how much wire do I have on me? Oh no, my grow light just came on because it's eight in the morning. That's gonna wake me back up because it's freaking bright. Wow, it still hasn't come on on the stream. Oh, there it goes. There's like a 30 second delay. Uh, build lower wooden wall. I just realized I'm building this backwards. I don't know, can, I guess they can dismantle it if it's backwards. I think they have that turned off on this one though. I hope so. <laughs> Oops. If they don't, I'm wasting my time building it. Oh, there was two wood there. And a bunch of nails. Pliers. I don't have blackout curtains in my bedroom. I just have, I have the window kind of covered with blankets that I pinned up. I really need to get blackout curtains. I don't know how much they would cost. I can look on Amazon, I guess. All right, so I just gotta do two more and I can finish the rest tomorrow. Honestly, I'm just gonna start building store. Well, no, I need the, I have to build them. Because the logs I have on the ground are gonna disappear if I don't. Where's the this thing? Oh, nothing nothing really happens, but the server's getting wiped on Friday, so people that have all the explosives from raiding other bases are basically going to start running around raiding everything they can. And I wanted this to be a troll base that has like this weird teddy bear cult, teddy bear pumpkin cult theme going. So I'm leaving like strange stashes of pumpkins and notes all over 
and I wanted to have it done tonight or when I go to sleep because I think they're going to raid me today. I don't have any idea when they actually will, but I suspect I'm going to get hit today. Hopefully not because that'll give me time to build tonight when I get back from that concert, I guess. Uh, what did I, oh, I need to put wood in there. I think it takes 18. My cat is like, get off the computer. Hey, would you get, don't sit on the keyboard, dummy. Get down. Come here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> there you go. Okay, lay down. <laughs> He's like, this is not healthy for you. You need to get off the computer. My cat's try trying to save my mental health. Can you see him on there? Oh, uh, sort of. Yeah. He likes to stand directly on my lap. Because he's dumb. Upper frame. <laughs> Lower wooden wall. Be nice to the baby. <laughs> He's baby. He's a dumb baby. Take the nails out. Pliers. Oops. Oh, I messed up. I think I hit the numlock key. Yeah, I did. Well, that gives away that it's a number. <laughs> okay. Um, just got to do one more. I don't have enough wood, do I? Dang it. Unless there's some in the car or something. Let me go see if I have any more wood anywhere. If I don't, I'm not gonna, I'll just leave things as they are. I can get, I can finish up tomorrow. Pumpkins! More pumpkins. Okay, nothing in the truck. Yeah, I'm out. I'll have to build more tomorrow then. I wonder if I hit any in the walls. Probably not. Oh, okay. so many I've got to prepare for the great pumpkin ritual I think I've got over 300 pumpkins now I'm way overestimating. It's probably about 200. Probably not that many. Uh, I'll have to pick those up for the bag. Oh, 
Oh, the tomatoes grew more tomatoes. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, I'm gonna start placing things. Ooh, I have a good idea for this gear stand. I can place it in here, facing the tree. And dress it up. I'll have to put some fun clothes on it tomorrow. I think I've got another one of them stashed somewhere. Although I don't remember where they were all at. What am I going to do with all this? Okay, I've got to start leaving little notes along the route, too. Oh wait, I had it on the font that I like, I forgot. We need to put it in this locker. Oh wait, they're not gonna see that. I'll put it on the locker itself then. There we go. I'm probably going to have to put the other note on the tent. All right, we've got a locker. I think I'll finish most of this tomorrow. Each room needs at least one locker. Uh, I'll put one in this room. to fill them with pumpkins. My building tools, I can just stash in that pallet there. Or the tent, I guess. They would be more secure in the tent. So I can build tomorrow. If someone gets this far, they can just keep the loot. <laughs> it's a lot of work to get to this room. Okay. Other bag. Yeah, because I don't I just don't have time to do it tonight. Oh, 
I should leave the bear trap in the tent though. I'll just walk on it myself tomorrow by accident. I've got room for these. Okay, uh, I just need to fill some lockers with pumpkins. Oh, I'm going to need those tomorrow, actually. I forgot. Let's get the pumpkins first. I just want one more. I I meant to build more doors in here. I forgot to. gonna have to fill these more tomorrow I'm just putting some in them for now so it's not empty another note I can write um, we have such sites to show you <laughs> what did I call it the the pumpkin no it was Teddy um, no, it was the pumpkin teddy cult. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll just leave it blank. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's that? Oh, that's just the...
Oh, darn it, it doesn't wrap properly. I don't like how it clips through the mesh. So, where else could I put it? On the next door? That door's backwards. Wait. Okay, this room doesn't have one yet. This one will just say you're almost there. And then I'll finish it tomorrow. Oh, it was Teddy Pumpkin Colt. Okay, I can't go any further. I have to sleep. <laughs> oh, I have restricted items. What am I carrying? Oh, the stupid raid driver. I'll just throw it in there. What else? They can have a raid driver if they make it this far. <laughs> they'll use a raid driver and they'll get a raid driver. <laughs> it's infuriatingly pointless. I mean, technically, they get one back, so it's it's actually a fair deal. Wait, did I put pumpkins in here yet? Oh, yeah. I accidentally put the raid driver in there. I will finish this tomorrow. Watch me log on and all these doors will be gone. What does that say? Let me see if I can translate. Oh, I can't I can't translate. It's not written in actual Cyrillic. Okay, well, I have to sleep, but I'll be back tonight, hopefully. We'll see if the base is still there. <laughs> I'm worried that it'll be gone. We'll see what happens. Bye, we'll see you guys later for now. Bye-bye.